Good morning. It's Friday, March 17th, and happy St. Patrick's Day to you all. It's Noah Wilson here from iHollywood TV. We are broadcasting live this morning on the East Coast to take you live to the St. Patrick's Day Parade from Ireland. But before we do that, we have about a half hour until the parade starts, so we have some of our friends who are back to join us for the celebration this year. First up, Travel Zoo senior editor, we love him so much, Gabe Saglier, has been traveling through Ireland this week. He joins us right now live from Kilkenny with some highlights and a peek at how Ireland's gearing up for the big holiday today. Hi, Gabe. Good morning. Happy St. Patrick's Day to you. Hey, Noah, great to, to hear your voice. Great to see you. And happy St. Patrick's Day to you from beautiful Kilkenny. Yeah, <laughs> it's so nice to see you once again. It's the big day. The parade's going to be starting here momentarily. But you're at one of the Kilkenny's most famous castles. Tell us more about that this morning. I mean, check this out. This is an absolutely gorgeous castle. One of the best preserved castles in all of Ireland, in fact. Kilkenny Castle dating back to 1195. Here's a live shot from inside these beautiful gardens. It sits on 50 acres, and it is in the heart of uh, this beautiful town right along the River North. So for folks who come to Kilkenny, this is definitely a place they'll want to visit. You can do self-guided tours uh, or guided tours. And, of course, uh, Kilkenny, a beautiful medieval city that dates back to the 6th century. During the 1600s, mm -hmm. this temporarily served as Ireland's capital, believe it or not. Uh, about 90 minutes southwest uh, of Dublin, so easy to get to here on a day trip, but definitely the kind of place you want to spend a couple of days and absorb some of that medieval history that's still very much alive and, and uh, kicking here in Kilkenny. Now, you've been across Ireland all week long. Plenty of preps underway for this year's St. Patrick's Day festivities, right? Oh, absolutely. This is, of course, a national holiday, as you can imagine. So people uh, look forward yeah. to this. It's not just a one-day affair. This is like a four- or five-day festival, depending on where you are. Here in Kilkenny, the theme this year is Circus 250, uh, celebrating the 250 years since the circus officially arrived in Ireland. And so there's going to be a lot of spectacle, performers from all over the world. Uh, and, of course, we're also going to be in Dublin, uh, which, of course, hosts uh, one of the biggest St. Patrick's Day parades in the world. This is video uh, from last year when we covered Dublin's parade last year. Um, it draws about yeah. half a million people to the streets uh, of Dublin. Many Americans uh, will descend here because there's uh, just a couple dozen marching bands from U.S. high schools and colleges that are part of this uh, kind of a spectacular parade, very Mardi Gras-style parade. And the theme mm -hmm. in Dublin this year is one, uh, as in unity. And I think it's a message that's going to be very I well received that. this year. Yeah. Absolutely. Now, what does St. Patrick's Day, this special holiday, mean to you the most, Gabe? Well, you know, it's a chance to sort of reconnect with that emotional connection that we as Americans have with Ireland, whether we yeah. have Irish roots or, or not. You know, there are about 40 million Americans that, that claim some degree of Irish heritage. So uh, and there's always been this sort of very close emotional connection between the U.S. and Ireland. I think St. Patrick's Day is one of those yearly reminders that there is this mm -hmm. kind of love and appreciation for what the Irish Irish represent storytelling, camaraderie, friendship, uh, and uh, that's very much alive uh, and well here in the streets of Ireland. As you know, many Americans will use the holiday as an excuse to come out here. I've, been, I've met, a, uh, you know, many, many Americans uh, who are here for the holiday. Uh, the beautiful thing is mm -hmm. that now we've got about 19 different gateway cities from the U.S. that, are, that have flights out to the U.S. So, uh, again, easy to get to, and as we continue to exit the pandemic, one of the most desirable European destinations based on our surveys um, uh, these days, which I think bodes well uh, for folks on both sides of the pond. We've all got to plan the trip to go out to Ireland. There's so much great history in Ireland, but tell me if I do come out there, what's one thing that I must see and do first? Well, so here's the beautiful thing. Very easy to get around. So, uh, you know, you, you can rent a car. You can show, I, knowing you know, you probably want to get a chauffeur. They, that's easy to, to do and, and, and drive around uh -huh. Ireland. You can do it by, uh, by train. You can do it by boat uh, uh, along some of the uh, great mm -hmm. rivers here in Ireland. Uh, I'd say, you know, you spend a couple of days in the, in the capital of Dublin, which is on the East Coast. Mm -hmm. And then you just drive to the, uh, one of my favorite spots, the West Coast of Ireland, known as the Wild Atlantic mm -hmm. Way. You've got the center part of the country, you know, the, what they call the uh, island's ancient east or hidden heartlands. Uh, you've got Northern Ireland, where I, I visited a couple of uh, days ago. Um, uh, again, very accessible. Everything's about you know, two hours away by car. Uh, and it's the people and the friendliness of the people and the fact that they love hosting Americans that I think is going to ring really, uh, really nicely oh, when yeah. you come out here, Noah. 
Absolutely. And speaking about you being all across Ireland this week, you visited the royal family's Irish residence. So, what? Yeah, this, so this is very cool. You know, uh, in Northern Ireland is one of the official residences of the royal family. Check this out. This is Hillsborough mm -hmm. Castle, which was built in the 1750s. Uh, and it's uh, about 100 acres of these gorgeous manicured uh, gardens. Uh, and this is when the family comes wow. to Ireland. This is where they stay. Inside, Noah, they've got artwork that has, in some cases, as, as they continue to display it has never been seen by the public mm -hmm. this is the relaxation room so when uh, King Charles for example wants to just kind of hang out with his grandkids this is where they would uh, they would come and uh, and hang out beautifully decked out uh, uh, wonderful historic pieces this is the throne room uh, when the Queen passed away this is where King Charles and the Queen concert would have sat to accept condolences from VIPs guests mm. and friends so uh, uh, history very much alive and well here the very first uh, international visitor to this uh, particular palace was Benjamin Franklin back in 1771 trying to negotiate. Now, we know how those negotiations went because five years later, as you know, in 1776, history would be changed uh, forever. But uh, this just recently opened to the public. So you can visit the gardens and you can also do tours of uh, inside Hillsborough Castle. I highly recommend it. Now, Gabe, as we're moments away from the parade, is there anything that you can tell our viewers right now that they can expect to see in this year's parade route? Yeah, so here in Kilkenny, uh, and again, you're going to see a find a parade uh -huh. in pretty much any town and city uh, in Ireland. Here in K Kilkenny specifically, the th theme this year is Circus uh -huh. 250, right? So celebrating uh, the fact that the circus arrived in Ireland 250 years ago. So they're going to have spectacular performers, uh, amazing acrobatics, musical acts, and they've also, they're also going to be welcoming performers from all over the world, from Chile, Brazil, Germany, and even Ukraine. So there's a great international flavor uh, that you're going to see here across the streets of Kilkenny, and of course, as we talked about uh, a few moments ago, uh, just about 90 minutes uh, to the northeast of here in Dublin, uh, mm -hmm. you're going to see a major uh, exhibition of international acts uh, and a major U.S. contingency, of course. Uh, I've already met many of them who've been traveling across Ireland and heading to Dublin as we speak. Well, Gabe Saglier, thank you so much for your report and coverage from Ireland. We are all looking forward to tuning into the parade here momentarily. You take care and have a great Irish Same day. Same to you, Noah. You got it. We'll see you here next time, okay? Oh, we always love when Gabe gets to join us. Now, let's move on to our next guest. She's a celebrity Irish chef and founder of the Ballynockin Cookery School in Wicklow, Ireland. Please welcome joining us live this morning on Zoom, Catherine Folvio. Hi, Catherine. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. It's so lovely to be here. I'm in County Wicklow in the Garden of Ireland, and I just yes. want to spread a little bit of Irish love all over. Oh, I love that, Catherine, and you sure do spread the Irish love all over. But tell us, how do you celebrate St. Patrick's Day in Ireland? So, um, there's no green beer. Um, there's no rivers dyed green. Um, it is very much, there's a huge parade, which Gabe is probably at um, in Dublin. And then there's lots of small village parades. So we'll get up, we'll have a hearty Irish breakfast. We'll have some soul bread with it. And then we'll head to the local parade so we'll see lots of wonderful musicians and dancers and local um sports players they'll all parade through our villages and we'll all cheer them on and they'll all be dressed up it's gonna be amazing and then we come back home and have a lovely irish meal together i'll probably do my plan is beef and guinness for tomorrow oh i love it that sounds delightful now catherine back when you were a kid growing up do you frankly remember any fun things that you used to do on saint patrick's day with your family I remember some things that, to be honest, I look back and think they were fun, but when we were smaller, maybe not. Uh, my grandmother uh, was obsessed with like real shamrock. And I don't mean shamrock you buy in the store. Um, our job as kids was to go out with a little shovel and dig up real shamrock, because it grows at this time of the year in Ireland. Um, and we would then take it up roots and all, and she would pin it to the lapel of our jackets and then we would go to Mass, of course, on St. Patrick's Day because it's our patron saint. We would celebrate mm -hmm. in church and we would have <laughs> this big mound of shamrock with roots and everything <laughs> hanging off of it going into church. <laughs> I love it. Well, Chef Catherine, I must tell you, you have the most prettiest garden. We're taking a look at this photo right now that was posted on your Instagram page. But tell us, where was this image taken and how important is it to you to plant a garden and have fresh ingredients in your meals? 
So I grew up with fresh ingredients from the garden. And for uh -huh. me, my pride and joy, other than my children, <laughs> is um, our herb garden and our vegetable garden. So we grow uh -huh. as much as we can ourselves. And visitors come from all over the world, but in particular from the United States. I have TV shows out in the United States. And people come and say hi to us and sign up to a cooking class. And we go out to the garden and we harvest the fresh fruits, the fresh vegetables in season, all of that. Like at the moment, just coming into season here in Ireland is rhubarb. Um, which is wonderful. We made a delicious rhubarb and ginger jam with it. Ooh, that's delicious. Sounds so good. You're making me hungry, Chef Catherine. But now, speaking about food, what are some of the foods that the Irish like to cook, not only on St. Patrick's Day, but all year round? Well, you probably heard already that corned beef and cabbage isn't Irish. But uh -huh. just for anybody else, it's Irish-American. You'd rarely see it on a menu in Ireland. So if you're looking for a traditional dish, Irish lamb stew would be very traditional. Um, beef and Guinness, very traditional, and also ham and cabbage or bacon and cabbage would be particularly traditional. But mm. nowadays in Ireland, we have so many wonderful food producers and artisanal producers, and the farms are all very small in Ireland in comparison to farms around the world. So everything mm. is produced very much on a smaller scale with love and with passion. And so we've got wonderful butters, wonderful um, cream, cheeses, we've got great chocolatiers, honey, all sorts, you name it, we produce it in all sorts of little small batches around Ireland. So when people come to our shores, they'll be able to try all of this wonderful local cuisine. And I think they'll really enjoy it. Now, Chef, you're the founder of the Ballynockin Cookery School in Wicklow, Ireland. Can you talk to us about what made you want to open up a cooking school? I grew up cooking with my mom, to be honest, Noah. And like, it was just an amazing experience. Like my no. mom opened one of Ireland's first farmhouse bed and breakfast. She called it bed and breakfast. She cooked three meals a day throughout the whole tourist season for guests and we cooked with her. So I learned an awful lot about fresh food straight from the farm. My dad milked the cows at the time and mom did the cooking and we helped mom. And I always had a passion for cooking. And after college, I went back to culinary school and decided I wanted to follow my career back home at Ballynockin, like where I said I'm third generation and bring my own stamp to it. So I decided to convert the now defunct milking parlor, which because we only are mm -hmm. sheep farmers now, and yeah. I converted that into a cooking school. And it was wonderful. From the minute we opened the doors, I really felt at home, being able to welcome guests literally from all over the world. And we now have an online cooking school as well for people who can travel to us, of course. There's actually an Irish cooking class on it if anybody wants to download it. Um, so you can mm -hmm. learn more about all these wonderful dishes that I was explaining to you about. But it's it's a great, running a cooking school, it really fits the character of the Irish people. It's a great way to talk to people, swap stories, chat, and at the same time do something you love. So for me, it doesn't feel like a job at all. It's like, it's like a day with all my friends. <laughs> now, Chef, you have a recipe for us this morning that we also made as well. It is quite easy to make, but tell us more about Mary's Brown Bread, which is Irish soda bread, in case any of the viewers watching our St. Patrick's Day broadcast would like to make this for their family this evening. So Mary is my mother. So this is my mother's soda bread recipe. And I, I wanted to show it to you because it's absolutely classic Irish and it's so easy to make. And I know a lot of people buy it, but it's not necessary to buy it because you'd be surprised right. how easy it's made. Now you've made a beautiful loaf. I really admire yours. It yes. looks fantastic. It looks amazing. And yeah, we got and some little flour... whipped butter, you know. Mm. Yeah, and I have, I have my matching. Mm -hmm. Yes, <laughs> I've, I've plenty there. But the flour in this, I just wanted to show you this now. This is really important. The flour mm -hmm. here is a 50% plain white flour or cream flour, mm -hmm. we call it here, and 50% stone ground whole wheat flour. This is a mm -hmm. very coarse flour, the whole wheat flour. So if you find at home that your flour is more finely milled, just put a handful of bran in there and that will bring you back to the correct texture. So I think that's mm -hmm. a really good tip because you don't, Absolutely. you want the, you want the coarseness. That's what makes Irish soda bread. It gives it its signature texture. Now this plain yes. white flour, this is important also to point out, this is your cream flour. So this is not the flour that you would use to make pizzas or pasta or sourdoughs. Mm -hmm. It is a cake flour. So it's a slightly lower gluten flour. And that's the reason I wanted to show you soda bread because it's so famously Irish because our flour is lower gluten. And so mm -hmm. yeast doesn't work with our flour. So we have to use baking soda. We call it bread soda or bicarbonate of soda is the official title. And this is what makes the bread rise, not yeast. And that's why we're known for soda bread. So there's a little background story for you, which I hope explains why we're known for soda bread. 
That's definitely an important fact right there, Chef. But now can you take a step by step on how we can make the Irish soda bread? Yes, so you have the recipe. So maybe will you load up the recipe somewhere for everybody? If not, it's definitely on my website, CatherineFulvia.com. People can go and have a look at that. But we mm -hmm. have here our stone ground whole wheat flour, a plain white flour. And the next thing that you want to put in here is the um, baking soda. And so you put the baking soda straight onto your hand like so. And you use the back of a spoon just to get the lumps out. This is a really good tip because you don't want any lumps from the soda bread or soda yeah. going into the bread. So in that goes. And then I have down here in my drawer just a little bit of salt. So you put in about a teaspoon of salt because you can't make bread without salt. So in that right. goes. Right, oh, absolutely. Yeah. So that's, that's my Irish measurement. Now, the next thing is you put your hands in and you aerate. So I have my clean hands. So in you go like this and you give it a nice aeration like this, you see? And this is a great way of mixing the flour and um, the other ingredients together without having to um, sift it. Because of course you can't sift whole wheat flour anyway. You end right. up with the rest of it left in the sieve. So you make it look so that. fun. <laughs> it is so easy to do. This is a lovely thing to do, and it's you'd be shocked how easy it is. Now, at yeah. this point, if you wanted to, you could add in other ingredients. Like my grandmother used to sometimes put in raisins in here. A mm. lot of people nowadays put in seeds and nuts, and I often would put in caramelized leeks and grated Irish cheddar cheese. So that mm. all goes in now, or whatever you choose. And yeah. at this point now, if this is, this is so quick, I will have this finished in two seconds. I always put in some oil. My mum always said that the oil keeps it fresher for longer. It gives you slightly softer bread. So that's just a plain sunflower oil, a flavorless oil. And then you go with buttermilk. But if you don't have buttermilk, if you mix natural yogurt with fresh milk, that'll give you a really nice texture. So in the recipe that you're going to distribute, Noah, maybe we won't put in all of the milk. Let's just see how we get on. So I always say to people, just start with some of the milk and then start mixing. And what you're looking for is a texture like thick oatmeal. And the reason I'm saying to you don't put all the liquid in is it absolutely depends on the type of flour you're using and it depends mm -hmm. on the density of the liquid you're putting in. So just keep adding in the liquid bit by bit until you get this thick oatmeal. And you see the way I'm not over mixing it? I'm just bringing it together, but I'm not forcing it. Right. What I love about my mother's recipe is you can just stir uh, with a wooden spoon or a spatula. You don't need to start getting your hands in. And here we mm -hmm. go. And it's done. It's just together now, Noah, and we have it. Give it a good this mix. This is such a simple recipe, and you can even get the kids involved as well in the kitchen for yeah, a little St. Patrick's Absolutely. Fun. And that's your texture. I know it doesn't look pretty, but that's how it is, and it's <laughs> beautiful. So now we have a lined loaf tin that I have prepared here. So mm -hmm. um, I just now you can just butter and flour your loaf tin if you wanted to, but I always just line it uh, because it's just that bit easier for it to get everything out. And yeah. we now have to just lever everything in here. And I've my oven already preheated. So we we'll pop it in the oven now. And already you can see that baking soda reacting. And the reason I should say to you, the reason I was quite, uh, you know, uh, pointing out so much about the buttermilk and the natural yogurt is uh -huh. that you need something sour to react with the soda. So that's why you use buttermilk or natural yogurt mixed with fresh milk. Or if you're really stuck, you can just use fresh milk with some um, lemon juice in there. That could be That'll sour enough, too, I think. Yeah. So now, in that goes. And we'll pop this aside. And we just flatten this out then, you see? Like this. So flatten it in as best you can, because it will rise in the oven. And it always rises, rises as a mound in the center of the uh -huh. middle so just have it as flat as you can you see it like that and then the next oh, thing i nice. want to do is I just want to draw a line down the center so you get your spatula or a knife and you draw a line down the center and that really helps with the rising of it it opens out evenly and then mm -hmm. just optional i have some oatmeal and you can just sprinkle some oatmeal on the top like this nice little see? decor on the top <laughs> yes really nice very simple to do and that's yep. it so then that goes into the oven and this takes about 45 minutes to bake Okay. And then I made a super size me one because would you believe it, Noah? Um, right. Ta -da! I, come to the, the magic I don't know what time it is with you, but in uh, here with me in uh -huh. about an hour, I have 100 people coming for an Irish meal, all from the United oh. States. So I have been baking this all morning, uh, the soda bread. So your timing is impeccable because I actually have uh -huh. multiple loaves to give us examples. <laughs> but if I can just lift it up and show you, this here then is your um, your loaf. And so you see delicious. How it, when you draw the line up the center, it opens out like that. And then let's just cut it so you can see what it looks like. 
So you yes. need your bread knife for it. And there, see, oh my goodness, look at that. I mean, that is beautiful. So are you gonna have a slice yourself? I'm gonna try it right now on the show. Yes, let's do this, Catherine. All right. And a bit of Irish butter with it? Yes, oh, you know. All righty. Some grass-fed Irish butter. Mmm. Uh -huh. Mmm. This is really Delicious. good. It's mm. really good with some whipped butter. Mm. <laughs> mm. I love butter. <laughs> now, Chef Catherine, what makes this bread unique versus buying a loaf at the store? Because it's quite tasty. This is really good. You know what makes this unique? It's fresh. And mm. there's not so much soda in it. Now, mm -hmm. I'm not sure about the ones you buy, but if I was to buy in a store here, I find quite often there's too much soda in it. And the texture mm. isn't nice. And the flavor of the soda is overpowering. And even the color it has sometimes a slightly green hue on it. So that's a sign that there's too much soda. Whereas here, you you really only just put in the rounded teaspoon of the soda. It's very, very little, but it's enough to have that bread rise. And also the flour is important. So just that nuttiness in the flour um, gives you that lovely texture. And the little bit of oil in there keeps it nice and moist. Thank you so much, Chef Catherine Volvio, for joining us on the show for our St. Patrick's Day broadcast. You take care and have a great and happy St. Patrick's Day. You too. Have a great day. Great seeing you again. Great to see you again. We'll have to have you back on again next year. Definitely. Now we're getting ready to go live to Ireland for the 2023 St. Patrick's Day Parade. But I want to thank all of my amazing guests this morning for joining me, Gabe and Catherine. It's been such a fun morning, and it will be even better watching the parade with all of you. But let's go ahead and go live to Ireland right now as the parade is about to begin. And we will see you back here right after the parade. Let's watch. We'll take it anyway to give it to us, all right. right? Yeah, yeah. Now, what I love about St. Patrick's Day, it really kicks off the season to come visit Ireland. You know, I, we're tuning into all the people that are uh, tuning in from America, live stream. Yes. Um, and like we say, we love to say in America, everyone's a little bit Irish on St. Patrick's Absolutely. Day, right? Now, this is a great day for us. Now, it has changed completely from when I was a child. Patrick's Day was a one-day issue when I was a child. Mm -hmm. You would come to the parade, you'd go home to your mom and dad, you'd watch a film like Christmas Day or, or Thanksgiving Day right. Know, right. on the television. Really quiet day but now it's a fourth day festival wow. and like hundreds of thousands of people come in for the festival and it embraces music and dance and song and all sorts yeah. so it's a great time to come to Ireland pre-season and uh, it's always the atmosphere is electric as you can see it's beautiful and we're gonna see so much art so many beautiful pieces again on that theme of we are one yes. we are one community and really focusing on the beautiful diversity that Ireland has become well the many uh, many of the the pageants coming through are all of like diverse people but from all over the country I mean right. there's dance Troops from everywhere. There's bands from the world, right. which is better to say, okay. But in the Irish context, we have people partaking from Donegal to Cork and everything in between. Gorgeous, yeah. gorgeous. Now, I am not Irish from the many Imagine. Z's in my name, um, but I've fallen in love with this place for many reasons, but mainly because of its people. All right. Right. Every time I come here, the, the, the culture, everyone is so welcoming and warm. And I like to say, because I love to dance around the world, I make new friends by dancing with strangers. And here, I don't even need to dance. I'm always you dancing. Are we river dancing for years? <laughs> <laughs> Kick up the leg there now. I know. To see how good you are. Oh no, maybe maybe another day. Yeah. Maybe yeah, another. Yeah. No, but it is it is just so true that when you come here, you can come here traveling alone with your Absolutely. family, and you will make lifelong friends. Yeah. We have at the hotel. I'm a hotelier in real, the real world, right? <laughs> and uh, we have uh, people come from America. Single ladies. We have lovely spa. Single ladies come because they love Ireland. They feel so happy, safe, and and contented here. Yes. And coming on their own is not a problem. No. Well, there is for the single ladies and single yeah, men yeah. too. Yeah. Uh, the Listun Varna matchmaking festival. All right. All right. Did you go to that? I, I did. <laughs> and what happened? I did. I, well, no, I just danced. I just danced. <laughs> just but thought. I met with Willie Daly. Oh yeah, I know. And that. his matchmaking and his book. book. Yeah. A lovely book. This gentleman has a book with addresses and names going back to the 40s or yeah, 50s, yeah. I think. All right. And he tries to match people up. But actually, you know what? It, it does works work. apparently. Yeah. yeah. He told me the first the question he or the advice he gives to every man he says because they say what should I ask a girl when 
when I see her and they, he says, just ask her to marry you yeah. as soon as he meets them. So <laughs> it works. Sometimes it works. Their match is made. And he, look, he's third generation matchmaker. I think his daughter's taking over. Oh, she's taking over. Yeah, she? yeah, 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 yeah. Because when I met him last week, could be five or six years ago, he was kind of thinking I'm kind of closing the book. Literally. Oh, but yeah. But she's going to take over. I think she oh, yeah, is. Good. And what's great is today, not only are we going to see uh, Irish culture and diverse culture, but marching bands from America. Yes, absolutely. Very proud. We have some friends I from remember. North Carolina, California, uh, uh, Chicago, a whole bunch of cities yeah. that we're just so all over, excited. All over the states. But when yeah. I was a child, the parade was the American marching band. Yeah. Now, there wasn't many at that time. There might be one or two of them, but we were mesmerized oh, by the yeah. fact that there'd be 150 people all playing music, banging big drums, you know, and, and we have the Purdue drum here we today. We will see the we'll big, see later on, big yeah, bass drum Which is Purdue. fantastic. Yeah. 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 And uh, we were always, that was very, that, that, the, the precision of it and all the rest was fantastic. Beautiful. Fantastic. And Beautiful. all of those bands now, you know, not all, but mo uh, the majority of them go to Limerick tomorrow. There's a big band um, competition. There is an international band competition. So yeah. this isn't just it. All, the, all these bands are going to Limerick and some other towns as well to yeah. perform. Um, but they are competing. So it's not just for yeah. fun. They are competing. No. They come here and save up, raise money to come to Dublin for the parade and to compete. So it's it's it's, yes. a, it's a lovely trip for these students yeah. and everyone participating. But it's also a matter of pride for Americans yeah. and Irish Americans. Of and course. Again, and again. Again, everyone's a little bit Irish. And a lifelong Fancy. memory for them. Oh, you know I mean? that's, yes. that's the important thing, because travel makes that, you know. That it you, does. You'll always remember where you've been, where you've gone, and what you've done, as yeah. against something else. Well, let's talk about that, because coming to Ireland is so easy from the United States. Well, Oof. we have, is it 15 uh, entry points yes. out of our direct flights to Ireland yeah. now, with um, all the different airlines yeah. uh, coming to Ireland, uh, going into Shannon, you can fly into Shannon. Yeah, so it's not just Dublin no, anymore, you, you can go through Shannon on the yeah, west. Yeah, and, and cut, cut down your time, and then you can get, you know, travel around, and, and it's it's easy and even though we drive on the wrong side of the road according <laughs> to the Americans all right and uh, it's not that difficult to know no it's it not takes a day for me it takes a day to get yeah. used to my brain saying stay left we, stay left yeah <laughs> we have a we're not aggressive you don't, no, you're you know, very lovely drivers no, too. It's not like the Amalfi Coast with no. the Italians. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. No. But they drive on the right, so it's an, uh, you're give yeah. and take a little yeah, bit. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. A bit of everything. Yeah. 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 But, but coming to Ireland is so easy. I live in New York. And speaking of, you know, New York has the biggest parade, parade. in the world. This is my first time being in Ireland during the St. Patrick's All Day right. Parade. Yeah, so I'm very excited to be here. Well, in the last uh, 35 years, except for last year and this year, I've always been in America. How funny. Isn't that funny? Yeah. We're coming. The now we're swapping. Yeah. Well, we're glad we're glad to have you here. I'm glad yeah. to be here with you, yeah. and I'm sure Ireland's glad to have you back. Yeah, for, yeah, no, it's grand. For it's, St. It's, Patrick's it's, Day. It, things change, and I, I wasn't in America this time. Yeah. So it was great. Yeah, it was great. Guys. So now we're great. the parade will pass just to touch up through it. It'll come down through. It leaves Parnell Square. Um, yeah. And the parade is coming through. Right. We are very excited. So I think the first band that we're going to see is the Army Number no. One band. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and this is a, a, a great band in, in the Irish scene. All right. We haven't got, we haven't got huge bands in Ireland, but the Army band is very popular. They're an alive band, and the conductor is like with the audience. Yeah. So it's very good. Yeah. So and our conductor this year, he is uh, Captain John Carpenter. Yes. So right. we're excited yeah. to see him. Yeah. And here they are making their way up yes. O'Connell Street. They will come across. Now, we're coming up O'Connell Street here. Mm -hmm. This is what you're looking at. In the background there, you can see the spire, right. which is a, a, a spike uh, in, in center, uh, pointing out the direct center of, of Dublin. And uh, we're coming through O'Connell Street. Now, O'Connell Street is our main street, right. all right, like Fifth Avenue or whatever. Okay? Right, right. Um, it's the main street in, in, in Ireland, and it's flagged there on the left hand side. You can see the statue of uh, Daniel O'Connell himself, right. all right. And he was the liberator, right. a, a member of parliament from Kerry, actually, not far from where I live. Oh, okay. uh, uh, as, as my full-time home, um, and he's very close to that. And uh, the, so the street is named after McCullough Street, and it is, it's a wide, big uh, plaza street, uh, traffic on both sides. And you can't miss that spire. That's a, a that's a good point, no. meeting point. Yeah, for yeah. if you come to Dublin, absolutely, and you lose your friends, say Indeed. we're meeting at the spire. That's yeah, visible for quite a, <laughs> quite a number of places around. Yeah. And that's the beauty of Dublin too. It's such a walkable city. No. I mean, people come here and they think oh, they have to get a car, but for the no. Only, no, not at all. Not. I mean, you get a car if you go into the countryside yes, or whatever. Yes. But in Dublin, no. No every, way. No way. It's very walkable. Yeah. And, very and I would recommend not getting a car in Dublin no. because it's so uh, difficult to drive everywhere. Yeah, absolutely. And finding parking. And then if you're going to the pubs to have a pint, yeah, last don't. thing you want to do is get in your car. Absolutely. Driving on the wrong side of the road. Yeah. <laughs> Can, yeah, can you imagine? And, no, and not an, doing. And an extra pint. No, yeah, no, exactly. not, not done. Exactly. So where are we going now? Here we go. Yeah, they're they're coming now. 
Yeah, and um, you know, speaking of Cary, I'm going to be heading to Cary tomorrow. Oh yes, yes, I love that what area. I'll like be that? going to the Dingle Peninsula, oh, which Dingle. is one of my favorite parts yeah. of, of Ireland. The sister yeah. peninsula to us. We're on the Fever uh, Peninsula, we right. call it, okay. and then we put the bar. As well. So we have uh, uh, all, the, all the different places to carry. You know, actually, carry is quite a divided county because it's like three finger, three middle fingers with different um, peninsulas. Right. So it's quite a long way to travel up to the peninsula to come exactly. to Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Stuff. Ireland is. Let's talk about that. Ireland is a small landmass, but it yeah. takes. It does take a little time to while get to get around because of the tiny little yeah. roads. Yeah, yeah. Um, what I love when I drive here is you see the roads and it looks like a one-lane road and oh, that's a main road. But in America, that would have been no. the dirt yeah. side Sorry, road. Yeah. So if you think you're going the wrong way, you're not. But no. it is just lovely. That's the beauty yeah, well, that's, of Ireland. That's is the you, charm. It is. Yeah. You have the traditional music isn't put on. It is. It happens. It happens naturally. Absolutely. You know, you yeah. go to the pubs. They have trad sessions. Yeah. They have uh, storytelling. That's what I love. Do you love the storytelling? Oh, yeah, yeah. I love it. We have great storytellers in Kerry. Yeah. Absolutely. And they think that you'll find that too. Yeah. And there's, there's plenty of them. We have uh, Blackbirds and uh, uh, an international storyteller. <laughs> very close to the mayor and I often get him to the hotel and get the parties in because he has more different yeah, stories. They're really yeah. great. And the stories are important. Yeah. And today we have stories. Wonderful yeah. story. Yeah, so, again, that, the theme of today's parade for everyone tuning in, it is we are one. We are one community. We are one human race. We are one planet. So you're going to see the theme of sustainability. Um, yeah. You know, and going through all of this, it's just beautiful. I'm Michaela Malazzi. I'm a host on PBS in the United States. And I'm Frank Francis Brennan, hotelier, an Irish TV personality. That's what they tell me. That. I pay no attention to that. And we're here at the St. Patrick's Day Parade in Dublin, Ireland. We and are you're all so very welcome. Yes. Fall you... galore. That oh. means welcome to all. We, we got to learn some Irish today. Oh, yeah. Oh, we yeah. put you to your paces now before there it's out. There we go. Okay. There yeah. we go. And for everyone tuning in, if you want to share where you're tuning in from, you can uh, tag us at hashtag love Ireland or share why yeah. you love Ireland so much or why you are thinking of coming to Ireland and where you want to go. I mean, there's so yeah. many places. And if you want to do, get more information on Ireland as you're sitting at home uh, on your laptop or whatever, uh, Ireland.com will give you absolutely endless amount of information. Yes, yes. Yeah. I particularly, I travel through the lens of dance and music, and that's why I love Ireland so much is because there is so much dance and music I, everywhere you go. And have, and our, the president, President Higgins, came from comes from County Clare, Clare, and that is known as the birthplace of traditional Irish music. All oh, right. Right? Oh, yeah. Gus O'Connor's. Yeah. I thought you were going to say Irish dance. I was going to say, I'm not sure. No. Oh, no, Irish, Irish music. music. Yeah, yeah. No, Irish well, that's music. what yeah. I'm told. Yeah, yeah. No, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They have the Glorth Theatre down there in Ennis, which is fantastic, fantastic. For, for, for Irish music. And yeah. the, the most popular uh, destination in all of Ireland is Cliffs of Moher. Cliffs of Moher. Yeah. That's true, yeah. That's and that's in County Clare as well. That's because it's free to get in. <laughs> well, parking isn't free. No. <laughs> no, but it is stunning. Yeah, and no. I've seen the Cliffs of Moher many, many times. Some ravaging, crazy uh, yeah. weather but, and some beautiful clear. It's just... It's a, it's a, a, a magical place. It is. Yeah, no matter is, yeah. what day it yeah. is, it's a magical place. Yeah, exactly. It's a magical place. And again, it's so palpable here, the energy. There's so many people. I know they're quiet behind us, but because the, the parade's approaching. It's approaching, yeah. Well, you see, the parade yeah. starts at the top of Collins Street, which we were discussing earlier, yeah. uh, and it comes down through Collins Street, uh, uh, bows her head to the president and the, and the stands there where there's a uh, viewing, and then on up to us. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, and it, the weather seems to be holding up, so we're lucky to know. Oh, I don't want to speak too soon. No, don't put a me. We call that a me on the weather. A me I mean, there's another Irish term. There you know, we go. Me is like a curse on the weather. Oh, okay, yeah. no, 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 we, we, don't. we don't want to do that. It's a beautiful day, gorgeous beautiful day. day. Yeah, yeah. Well, how do we say? Stunning. It's stunning. 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 Stunning here in yeah. Ireland. Yeah, yeah. yeah, just beautiful. So, um, uh, they'll be coming across Collar Bridge and then they travel up. You know, the parade is uh, Dublin is not. It's a Viking town. Yes. So it's not like in New York, which is blocks, blocks and blocks and blocks. You walk and it's a straight grid, so it's really so difficult to get lost. If we look at the, the map there, you yeah. see because the orange line. Okay, you can see that it's like a snake for St. Patrick oh, almost, well, that's, right? only, that's, only, that's only by chance. Right. But the orange line is the run of the parade. So it'll be, what you call it, it will show you where it's going. Coming across the blue line is where we're sitting there on the blue. And the this blue. is the Liffey? Yeah, the Liffey. That's where Liffey, we're there. Right? Yeah. And it'll come through here and pass on up and finish up at Christchurch. Yeah. So it will be, what you call it, it's a, it's a good, it shows you what the, the, the route on which it's going. All right. And you can see all the roads there in Dublin. There's no blocks like New York, unfortunately. No, you know. no that's okay. But that's part of the New fun York, as well. Yeah. yeah. So, so that's, that's that's that. And at St. Patrick, look, we're we're wearing our our, our shamrocks, shamrocks, yes, right. Tell us a little bit because everyone's been wearing these. I've never seen this. Yeah, well, 
we all wear shamrock in Ireland, okay, you always have, and you always got it for out of the garden or out of wherever you lived for, for Patrick's Day, and you'd have it on going to church, and it's a tradition, okay, and the shamrock is taken from when Pat, St. Patrick was bringing Christianity to Ireland, mm -hmm. and he was trying to explain, and he picked up the piece of shamrock, and he says, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, the three. And the three. Yeah, and don't forget, right. now, clover is four, so the Irish are three. Right. So that's how you know it's real shamrock. There okay? you go. So there it's a, go. it's it's always been, and it brings good luck. Everyone buy a lot of tickets in America today, and you might win something. We might win something. You might win something, right. exactly, yeah, yeah. Have yeah. the luck of the Irish today. Yeah. Yeah. Now, and here we go. Oh, here we go. So the Army Number 1 band is marching through. Yeah, no, they're not, uh, they're just coming. They're coming through? Through, I, I think, after that, yes. Oh, and this is this, the, this is the Lord, Lord Mayor. Mayor. Yes. Yeah. In Lord the, Mayor Caroline Conroy, and this is Lord Mayor's coach. Yes. Now, what's amazing about this coach, it is uh, two, over 230 years old. Exactly. Now, interestingly enough, back in, in, in the 70s, 1700s, Ireland was a very popular place for making carriages and coaches, all right? I think that came from Guinnesses, where they did the coopering for the right. for the barrels for the Guinness, right. okay? They were good with wood. And then it got lost. It, it just disappeared, okay? Um, for years and years, and it was only taken out of, story, out of um, uh, storage and remodeled by the Lord Mayor. And now it's, as you see, we we'll see it coming through yeah, now. Yeah, it is gorgeous. Yeah, it's a beautiful thing. And it's great. It's taken out on ceremonial right. uh, occasions. Right, right. Okay. And I think, I think it was put away for a while since COVID, yeah. right? And it hasn't been out since then. No, so it's, today it's, we're celebrating that. It's getting a good area. Look at that. That is just yeah. beautiful. And it's all a gold leaf. It's like beautifully put together. And, there's some and of the so many have, fun people having yeah. a great time. Well, thanks for goodness it's dry now at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. Now, here we go. Here we they go. Got to, I just see them after getting the move along now, please, someone has said. So. <laughs> I don't know who's, I wonder who's in charge of the move along. I don't I know. Would, I wouldn't want that job. Here's his top hat out and all. Look. Oh look, a blanket there. Yeah, he warm. has a blanket. Oh. oh, we didn't get the blanket yeah, here. We should have done. <laughs> no, we're good. We're no, we're good. fine. No, we're all right. We're good. Now you see, it's beautifully yeah, ornate. It's all right. Gorgeous. Yeah. That is beautiful. And uh, the Lord Mayor had came at that now, so she's on the viewing stand. So yeah. it's just parading through Dublin. Now, Lord Mayor Caroline, she's the 354th Lord Mayor of Dublin. We have had a few. <laughs> Well, talking yeah. about the history of Dublin, it runs deep. It really runs deep. That yeah. is, isn't it beautiful? Look at that is gorgeous. Yeah, it's a look. Oh, that was great. Now, and it's, it's, it's just, the rest restoration was like loads of people worked on the restoration, yeah. and they did a wonderful job. Yeah, yeah. Now you see, there's, you see the springs here. There in the front of it, there's springs going down. I got my finger caught in one of those <gasps> as a child. Oh, my, my poor granny. You can see the, you can see the spring there. Yeah, look. yeah, yeah. There, uh, there's three or four layers of steel there, and they go. You know, it, it gives them the spring. Oh, right. Goodness. But when I was a child, I got my finger caught, and I'll never forget it. Oh. Oh, I bet you'll never forget yeah. that. But that was just the way. That, that was. Now we should have the Dublin Fire Brigade colour party coming through mm -hmm. um, after the uh, the Lord Mayor's carriage. Now, you know, there's a there's this. We see the theme of the snake all over for St Patrick's Festival, but right. it, that's. There That's were no snakes never, in Ireland, right? There never were snakes. Right, all right. right. It was it's, just, it's one of those myths. That, right. That, that, that the Saint legend Patrick, of St. Exactly. Patrick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But everywhere you go, I was in Mexico on holidays years ago, and there was a lovely church, and I went to church, a statue of St. Patrick, and a big snake underneath them. I thought, Mother of Mercy, as far as Mexico, they know about St. <laughs> yeah. Patrick and the snake. And the Lord coach, uh, the Lord Mayor's coach, just, just passing. passing us by right now. Yeah. Just beautiful. Yeah. And the crowd is waking up. This is, this yeah, is, no, they're warming get, up. Yeah. We need the first band now before yeah, we, we get, we, yeah. Yeah, we do. Into, yeah. We definitely do. Yeah. It is just wonderful. Yeah. It's uh, what you call it. It's um, it's a great occasion, and it's great to get the Lord Mayor's coach out and on the road and, yeah. and the horses and everything yeah. else. Yeah. yeah. Now, here we go with the next troop. Dublin Fire Brigade. Yeah. We do have the Dublin Fire Brigade. They've celebrated over 150 years of service. Yes, they're uh, they're very listen. You know, listen, fire brigades. Listen, you've had your own problems in New York with fire brigades. You know what I mean? With incidents and tragedies and everything like that. Sure. So like they do a stellar service worldwide, really. Yeah. So this just gives them their day out. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Which is it's nice. Just gorgeous. And yeah. We want to give a special shout out to the Dublin Fire Brigade Sports and Social Club because they're celebrating 50 years this year. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And they promote social, sports, and charity events. And it's the pipe band. Yeah. And then they have the honor group behind. Yeah. And uh, the Grand Marshal leading the Dublin Fire Brigade is um, uh, recently retired firefighter Shane McGill from the Fistborough right. Fire Station. Yeah. And yeah. We have a, they have a mascot, an Irish uh, wolfhound. Now, do they have that with them today? Yeah, Q. We saw him at the beginning, right? Did you see him? Yeah, I, we did. I missed him. Yeah. Well, that's that's that, that's their, their mascot. Yeah. Beautiful dog. And here they come. Yeah. Gorgeous.
Oh, there's some man running out to say hello to his mother. <laughs> I saw him going out alive. Oh, going out alive. Yeah. And that's yeah. what St. Patrick's Day is all about, right? But we're it's celebrating. A, you, you were saying earlier on about one. This is it. Yeah. They are our people and they are, you know. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's a great shot. We're going oh, down through the crowd. Lovely. And the ladies. Yes, and girl. The ladies. And we're celebrating Women's History Month, so it's wonderful to yeah. see yeah. the female fire brigades. Yeah. Fire brigade. So that's them gone through now. Yeah. And actually, for the International Defence Force Veteran Association, this is their centenary year oh, for the Irish, Irish Defence. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the Irish Defence. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, I had read that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Now who's coming through? We have the Irish Coast Guard. Oh, yeah, a very important group. And a very Absolutely. important year. We are. They are celebrating their 200th year. Yes. 22. Yeah. 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 And you know they're available 24/7. They don't look at the clock. Wow. They just it's a call out, it's a call out, and they yeah. get on with it. All right. Yeah, yeah. And you know they're again the Coast Guard in America are fantastic. Yeah. You know I've I've seen over the years where they've been to National Services Day. Yeah. yeah. And uh, they're, all, they're, they're one all... of four principal emergencies. So you have the Garda, yeah. the police, yes. fire service, yes. the fire brigade, and the ambulance service, yes. along with the Irish Coast Guard. So yeah, we are grateful for all, all of their of service. Yeah. Yes. Is this the Garda band? Oh, and then we have the Garda mounted unit. So behind us is the Garda band. Yes. And this just is going the, through, you can just hear Just going there. through, and we have the Garda mounted unit. Yeah, and they're only the, the Garda mounted unit. Like that's only been in existence since the 90s. Yeah, very okay. recent. Yeah. Compared to everything else. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So. So we have the Garda marching band, and of course the Irish harp, uh, the 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 symbol of Ireland, right there yes. in the front. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so they're playing along there now. Yeah. yeah. Now here's the, you know, and here, I see the blue here, and I see blue. There we go. Very. That blue is the Irish. That is the Irish color, not green. Yeah. Yeah. And that goes dates back to St. Patrick. Yeah, right? it does. Yeah. He is blue. He, he is blue. blue. But he, I don't know, somewhere he turned green. He must, <laughs> he must have been off color one day and right. ended up green. But uh, well, maybe it was the shamrock. Oh look at and the dog unit. Look, there see the nice dogs. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, here they are. Look, the lovely dogs. Ah, there no. we go. Some yeah. of them are lovely. We have Sergeant Sean Pender with Belgian Shepherd Bear. Yes. Uh, Garda Paul Conroy with Labrador Spud. A Labrador, yeah. Oh, look. there we go. Garda Mary Cocker Grinch. Spaniel. Yeah. Cocker Spaniel. We, have you got them? No, cards? no we no. don't. Or maybe it's, oh, maybe it's customs. Yeah. Yeah, they have. Oh, look, they have their, their Irish go. flags. Yeah. 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 But we have some cute names. Roxy's out there, Bailey, Cujo, and Chica. Oh, Lord. So we are grateful for their service as well. Any of them Italians, some of them sound so you are their name in the map board. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's good. Yeah. So where are we going next now? Well, we're going to hear some more marching bands. And again, we are here today at the St. Patrick's Day Parade in Dublin, Ireland. I'm Michaela Malazzi, host in uh, America on the PBS show Bare Feet. And I'm here with you, Francis. Francis Brennan, yeah, hotelier, an Irish trinket personality, they say. I they think that's hilarious. Where did they get well, that from? Well, you're on TV quite oh, a right. bit. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. why. That's but, uh, why. It's, uh, yeah, I'm, um, I'm a Kerry man. Well, I was born in Dublin, but I lived in Kerry now. Yeah. I've been there for 40-something years. So now you're a Kerry man. Well, you can oh, never sorry. be a Kerry man. No. They're, they're lovely people. I love mad about Kerry, and I wouldn't leave it for all the Teen Channel, but you're not a Kerry man. No. Because you weren't born there. No, yeah, you weren't born there. But, uh, well, you're and a you Dubliner know, then. It was great fun because uh, we, uh, the biggest maternity hospital we have in that area where I live is in Cork, all right? So, like, my niece and nephew were both born in Cork. Uh -huh. and so, they're really not Kerry they're people. They're not Kerry people. I know, but that's, they don't actually go that far. They are. But they if, would be if, the, if the farm is on Kerry land, yeah, then you're, you're a Kerry. You're, man. you're away with it then. then. You're yeah, a yeah, that's true, yeah. yeah. But it's, um, it's uh, oh no, it's, but the, the different nationalities and the different uh, things all come together as one because yeah. it's a very much we're a tourist county right. tourism is very yeah. important it, well it's such a stunning part yeah. of the country yeah no it's beautiful yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's... and you're a hotelier you spending the past few days with you you are so welcoming you definitely have an eye for all of the things coming for tourists yeah. what i love is ireland is everyone no, is very welcoming hospitality is kind oh, of in our blood it is yeah yeah, yeah no, it, it is, is. Yeah, and yeah. it goes back to the brehan laws right yeah back that far yeah. exactly yeah, yeah. Where you, you greet it and well of course jesus on the road to the to, to when he was going to Nazareth, was looked after by everybody. Exactly. So we probably continued the thing yeah. all the way through. Which is a, a lovely tradition. Yeah. It yeah, is yeah. beautiful. Yeah. So now, what's coming through now? What do we see? I see a double decker bus. <laughs> We do see a double decker bus. What's in the double decker bus? It says Happy St. Patrick's Day, and we are wishing everyone a Happy St. Patrick's Day. Again, there are over half a million people here in Dublin today, and over, uh, 
millions of people around the world celebrating. Whether you're Absolutely. Irish or not, like yeah. we'd like to say in America, everyone's a little Irish on St. Patrick's Day. The official tour, Patrick's Day. There we go, St. Patrick's well, no, Festival. They were very lucky. They're whoever they are. I don't actually I don't know who they are, but they all look happy anyway. And yeah. TV crew as well. That's now here we come. Oh, vintage car. Vintage car. Yes, this is. Um, the, what to call it, I the, think our grand marshals are, are rolling through. Yes, I'd say so. And um, the grand marshals this year are uh, th Vera, Vera, Vera Pau. Vera Pau, yeah. fabulous woman. Yes, who's, who looks after our uh, female football team, Irish yeah, she's national She's the manager, team. the yeah. team manager. Yeah, and, and she has a few friends with her, Diane Caldwell and Paula Gorham. And she's done a great job with yeah. the girls. Okay, yeah. they've raised the whole profile of sport in Ireland, which yeah. is marvelous to see. Yeah. And they're, they're, they've been very good like that. And she is, uh, she's one of the grand marshal with the, the two the two girls that you mentioned. Yeah. mentioned. And then of course, Patrick Duffy. Our international yeah. um, guest of honor, which we are so excited. Uh, most people know him from Dallas. Dallas. Well, now Dallas was huge in Ireland. Right. It was like, uh, like the whole country stopped. And when who shot JR was like, oh my God, <laughs> it kept us going for the whole summer. All right. Yeah. Well, um, I grew up with him. Uh, I'm a generation after Dallas. I grew up with him on the show Step by Step. Yeah, that's with right. With Suzanne Summers. So yeah. it was it was lovely that the, he's really cross generations. Cross -generations. And he's yeah. such a lovely man. We got to meet yeah. him earlier today. Yeah. No, he's great. And he's delighted to be back and it's his birthday today it's his birthday I heard that, and yeah. you know what in Italy there's a tradition we say it's your name day oh yes you're named after a saint so it's his name Dente. day today That's, yeah Bonanomastico yeah. his his name day today so St. It's all, Patrick, Patrick Duffy's birthday, name day. It all fits in perfectly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Patron saint of Ireland day. I mean, but, it is a huge day. But, and I probably, when we asked him to be the Grand Marshal, we probably didn't realize that he was uh, that he was uh, it was his birthday. Probably we didn't know. But anyway, isn't that brilliant that it all fell into? It all worked out. out. Yeah. It all worked out. And um, he is, um, he is, um, his traces roots, Irish roots all the way back. Yeah, his grandfather came from County Mayo, Mayo yeah. in 1920. He said he knew his yeah. grandfather. Yeah. So coming back was such a powerful yeah. uh, trip for him to come here and, and yeah. go back to his roots. Well, he has been here a few times over the years. But going yeah. back to where his grandfather, grandfather came from, oh, yeah. yeah, it really was powerful for him. We heard him speak uh, this morning, and it's just beautiful. So I, I think he really, this 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 celebration in was, particular yeah. is very... Oh, he was like, thrilled. Yeah. yeah, he was thrilled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. very moved. Yeah. Very moved by all of this. Yeah. So we're just so honored that he is our international uh, guest of honor for this yeah. year at the at yeah. Dublin St. Patrick's Day Parade. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it is a beautiful day. Everyone's, we have some more groups coming through. But again, today we are going to see a bunch of marching bands from the U.S. Oh, yes. And and some from, from Ireland. Yes. Uh, but it is not just for the delight of the uh, oh, no. spectators. Yes. Uh, there is a competition. Yeah. So I'll be in the parade itself. Itself, those different categories of yeah. band competitions, yeah. Yeah. right? Okay, and then tomorrow they go to Limerick, a uh, city in the west coast of Ireland, mm -hmm. for those that might not know. And there's a big international band parade uh, competition there, which is part of the international band parade scene. Right. So, like, they're getting points if they win, yeah, against you know what might be happening in America or wherever else. Maybe they go to, I don't know where else, I don't know where else, what kind of the countries, maybe they don't. Do they they go, go, there are international yeah. competitions, yeah, but this is quite a big one, yeah, this is a yeah. big one, and I. I'd, what we're hoping to do is when they come through is to, to give a listen to some of these groups because we do want to give a, a, some some yeah. time to them because these students they raise money oh. all year long to come to Abs Ireland absolutely and because they get a couple days here in Dublin they get to explore the city then they go to Limerick yeah. right but before this parade oh, yes you, they can't just come here and play they have to oh yeah see the they well, get to play a little excuse bit me. <laughs> I'm sure there's an educational element oh, there, to keep course. mr. revenue happy <laughs> <laughs> imagine, well, imagine. Well, no, travel is transformative. No, absolutely. Right? No, I, I, well, listen, nobody agrees more You're than right, I. Right. Okay, travel. And, and I feel very lucky. I think we lived a charmed life, a but little bit of being able to travel as much as we we're do. We're spoiled. We are spoiled. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And I, you know, in my business, for 42 years, I've taken my staff on holidays for a week. Wow. Like up 40 to 50 from every year. Because I always say, um, what's called travel is a memory. It and, is. You know, it's, they never, never. It now, is. here we go. Here comes the cars. Beautiful. Now. Yeah. I think that is our uh, grand, those are grand marshals coming up. Yes. Grand marshal, here at Powell. Coming through. Let's see. And, and the, 
I didn't see St. Patrick. Did you see St. Patrick? I haven't seen St. Patrick, but tell no, but us the Tory. tradition of having St. Patrick. Oh, there he is. Where? There he is, right oh, there. Yeah. Now, these are three Kia cars that are wrapped for us, okay? Here's one of the marching bands. This is just a, a shot shoot going down over. We'll, we'll get to them in a minute now. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. But look at all because of these incredible bands coming over from the United States the to share the music. Uh, these young people are just so yeah. talented. It's so fun. They yeah. get to show their music. They're competing. Yeah. Oh, and the beautiful dancers. Again, this is all about we are one, right? This yeah. is the theme of today's parade. Uh, we are one community. We are one planet. We are one human race, and there is St. Patrick. Yes, there he is. Now, now, St. Patrick this year, we have two St. Patrick's. Yeah, explain, yeah, explain, yeah, explain that explain. a little bit. Okay, first of all, at the traditional St. Patrick, as we see him there, okay, outfitted in sort of like the priest garb, right. you could call it that today, okay? Uh -huh. And then his cohort uh, uh, is, is a girl. Uh, uh, how do you say this? Acantha. Acantha. What does okay. that mean? So that is a flower associated with St. Patrick. Okay. And she has taken the Acantha theme and remodeled uh, her her uh, outfit today as St. Patrick of a modern there's day. There's the, there's the traditional St. Yeah. Patrick. Now hold on, here and we go. Here John. she comes. There she goes. There she you see with her hat. And she won. That's it. She's in the school where they do uh, junk couture, and that's all recycled. Right. right. And it's she went, used and recycled. She won the top prize in Dubai. Beautiful. Isn't that fantastic. That's wonderful. Yeah. And this is Johnny Murphy, who's, who's, who's our St. Patrick. And Patrick. you see all the artwork there on the back of her dress. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Here we go. We have um, some marching bands coming through. We have the first marching band. I we think have. we have the pride of Bixby from Bixby, Oklahoma. Bixby, Oklahoma. How big is Bixby? Bixby? I think it's not very big. No. I've, I've honestly I've never been to Bixby, Oklahoma, oh, yes. but now I think we should go. Ah! <laughs> we know, we'll do we, an exchange. We know the band anyway. Right. right? And we, we say do. hello. We say hello to all of them and all. Look at that. Isn't that fantastic? Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Is it? Let's make sure. Yeah. It, is it? Yeah. No. White, black, and red. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think you're. Well, welcome to the St. Patrick's Day Parade here in Dublin. We are so happy to be here with you, and we're glad you're tuning in with us live. The first let's, and let's listen to the music just a little bit. Let's get your toes going. Oh yeah. Now there's 275 students in the Big Speed program. Wow. Imagine. And they're all learning music, so it's fantastic. There they go. We're moving. Yeah. Love it. And those dancers, color guard. Yeah, girls. Woo! Woo. No. Yes. Yes. Now Moving on now. We have the St. Patrick's Festival Community Arts. Yeah, this is the pageant. We have different pageants throughout the day, all right? And this is uh, supported by the Dublin City Council. And they have... Um, They've reinterpreted the story and the theme yeah. of We Are One, we are right? One. Exactly. So we have a yeah. goddess here yeah. who's really... She b basically brought to life the the island of Ireland. Yes. Right? And then as the then story we, goes, it's a, a sort of a good versus evil story. Yeah, we have the battle coming up now. Yeah. After she comes through here. Here we there go. Called, These yeah. are the demons. These are the demons. Yeah. That want to give us all an awful time. Yeah. <laughs> and then we move into the the future. It's in three parts. Yeah. Okay. And I think they're looking so, for hope. Yeah. These young dancers. Oh, and I think those are you. Are they Ukrainian dancers? They could be Ukrainian. Yeah. Well, there's dancers included from all about, uh, from the Brazil, Lithuania. Uh, again, uh, Lithuanian dancers, yes. Yeah, uh, Indian community. So we have Peru. The, mm -hmm. the Lithuanian Association, yes. Samba Dance Brazil, Venezuelan Roots, Moldovan Association, Sphere 17, Seda College, Confederation of Indian Community in Ireland, yeah. Syrians in Ireland, yeah. Polish, Polish Saturday School, Latvian Saturday, we, Society in School. With the whole world. Igbo Union Dublin, Peru Fusion, National Rhythms of Georgia, the Republic of Georgia, and St. John of God. So really, the diversity that we have in But again, the one thing is beautiful. coming through beautiful, That's all of gorgeous. them together. And the costumes, look, Love are they it. beautiful? Yeah. But what, we, what we're seeing and what we're going to see more of this entire parade is that unity and the, the, the beauty of the diversity of Ireland. Yes, yeah, coming together. The modern Ireland yeah. coming together and, yeah. and really creating such beautiful artwork. Yeah. Now, we have a band here. 
and I think they are part of all of I think the St. Patrick's Festival Community Arts, yeah. bringing some music for these dancers. And again, yeah. this may be part of the hope, right? It's the it's the good versus evil yes. story that they're doing, and here comes that they hope, have, yeah, that music. They're creating the hope now. Yeah, the here we go. Oh, I think this is this actually is, Lithuanian. This is this maybe. There, yeah, yeah, beautiful. Is it the apron, you know, or hot? Yeah, and the, the head, the wreath, the the headband. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's quite a group, quite a large group, bigger than I thought actually. Yeah. I and thought everyone's wearing their uh, shamrock yes. lapels. Beautiful. Yes. Oh, and here are those demons. Yes. See those demons oh, behind them. Oh, I do. Them? Yes. They're going to give us trouble down on the on yeah. the Bridge. And I think what they said was the the demons represent also the modern demon of consumer over consumerism. Yes. And, 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 and waste. And waste. Right. Yeah. And and we're trying to combat that. Here, here it is. Yeah, now. Here it is. You wouldn't want to meet him in a dark no, night. No. 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 And this goes back to ancient Irish storytelling. Yes, yeah. Right, and this is sort of a reinterpretation well, we always, of these stories. Yeah, we always had the demons and, and the, the bold, the bowels fairies right. uh, in, in our, what you call it? Right. Now, now this is really based on a, a book written by Ellen Ryan called Girls Who Slay Monsters. I love yes. that name. So this is a reinterpretation of that story. Again, the demons coming to sort of bringing trash and pay here. See, it's all that consumerism, buying yeah, things. Yeah, and the cash register. <laughs> it's wonderful. <laughs> lovely, lovely, lovely. Yeah. And you know, the schools all around Ireland got involved in this as well. It's fantastic. I think. Yeah, it's great. I'm going to dance up here, I Francis. tell you, what do the samba? See, there's the money, coins, right? Yes. It's very tempting, very shiny. Yeah. Yeah. Shiny things you want to grab, I'm, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And then we have, no. here come the cleaners. These are the, the recyclers, the waste pickers. Yeah. They are the hope. They are the ones who are going to help save the day, save our planet. Yeah. Here they are. They are they've got the, the hard hats ready to work. Yeah. Yeah. They are doing their job. And yeah. here are the sweepers. They're cleaning. We've got our dancers. And again, so many different participants from all over diverse groups. Very well put this together. This is fun. And, and a great story. Very great. Yeah. Very, yeah. very well put together. Very, very beautiful interpretation. I love the costumes. Yeah. And the, and the money discs. They did a wonderful job. And you know, the, 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 all the communities got involved in the preparing the costumes and all. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, they're having it, and the crowd's loving it. The crowd is loving it. And they were like, the, the, what's great about that? There was uh, junk couture groups from uh, Donegal to Cork and Kilkenny and everything in between, all putting that that whole show together. Yeah. So what's great again? The sustainability. Ireland's really pushing the forefront for for sustainability in travel, but also in the costuming. These are reused, yes. recycled materials. Yeah. yeah. So that's really part of the message as well. It's not just let's create this. There yeah. it is. The junk couture that's all reused. Yeah. And recycled materials. Yeah, fantastic. Here we go. Now, what are we on to? Have they got their ponchos on them in case it was yeah, raining? Yeah, in case it, it was raining. Yeah. Did, they didn't need it. Now good we, thing, good thing. Now we have the Clondalkin band. The Clondalkin Youth Band. It's yeah. led drop by the L. You have to drop, drop the Clondalkin. I want to say Clondalkin. No, drop the L. It's, and it makes an L of a difference. <laughs> right. Yeah, so drop it. Clondalkin. Okay. Clondalkin, yeah. And they're right here from Dublin. Yeah, they're just outside the city. Yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah. Um, the director is Mr. Neil Christopher. Yes. And this is their 33rd time performing in the Dublin State Patrick's well, Day Parade. Well, they have two No, they don't. No. And um, it's a testament to their magnificent musical work for the long-standing director, Mr. Vincent. And Dolan, who recently retired. I saw that He's, in yeah. 2022 after 37 years. And you know, and, and Neil, the current director, met his wife in the in the band. Wow! So they're there, and now they have three children in the band. Oh, that's so! Can you imagine? The wonderful. I hope they were all family packs, band. That they were practicing the violin all at once. Can you imagine? <laughs> oh, my head would be spinning. Yeah. But they're they're lovely, and they're just out the road. The Clondalkin yeah. band. So let's they're see right. if we can hear the Clondalkin band for. Let's take a listen. Okay. Very good. Oh, very serious. Yeah. Though. Well, they are being judged. We have to remember this is. Yeah. There is a competition for it them. It's a competition. High stakes. High yeah. stakes. He has his uh, trumpet polished anyway. Look, his mother was up all night getting the trumpet polished. Oh, the poor little fellow with the big drum. God bless him. Look at him carrying that from two miles up the O'Connell Street. 
Uh, and next up, we have Disney 100 oh, with their Showstoppers Dance Company with them. And yeah. Disney is celebrating 100 years. Yes, that I saw is that. A, a legacy. You know, and, um, and Roy Disney, who's the son of Walt Disney, who's the main man in, in the Disney creation. Uh, he lived in Ireland for many years. Oh, oh Minnie Mouse. Minnie and Mickey. Oh, love the children now. It's yeah, so exciting. Yeah. Because they're really good. And they're in a vintage car, which is lovely. Yeah. Okay. Trish Long is the vice president of uh, 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 Disney here in Ireland and she is uh, she has put all this together with yeah. the, the things okay well what's beautiful is you know Walt Disney's great grandfather immigrated from Ireland that's right in yeah, the yeah. 1800s he brought his family over and so and he, I, you know Disney has a strong tie with the Irish culture yeah and then Roy Disney lived and has a, had a house in Cork for many years all right and uh, he he lived here he used to come he was a good sailor mm. and Cork is a great sailing town yeah and, and we have these great dancers the Showstoppers Dance Company um, they are just wonderful, wonderful. Look at these kids. Yeah. So they're thrilled to be a double great, 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 great energy. Yeah. Great energy. Yeah. Great energy. Yeah. They'll be. You know, and Disney yeah. for over for a century now has been making magical memories ah, listen. and storytelling for, for children and adults over generations. Listen, I'm the biggest Disney fan in the country. <laughs> I just love Disney. You should be in that car with me yeah. and Mickey. I love the, I love the hunting dogs. Oh, yeah. he's, he's full of enthusiasm. Yeah. Look at that. He's not going to. Oh, they have it all worked out. They got it. They're very good. They didn't shy and practice. And they're the showstoppers dance company. Yep. And it's a Rolls Royce open top um, car. With Minnie and Mickey, yeah. 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 And it will be changing to, I think, Donald Duck and Daisy Duck, Daisy. they may be coming yeah. later. They'll be coming at some stage. Yeah. 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 These dancers are great. Yeah. And you know, we have Disney in Paris, not that far. You not know, too it's, far. Like, you can't get as far as America. Not too far. You can go to uh, Paris. Just but you know, Paris. flying back the other way around, flying back from Ireland to the US is, is just as easy as it is to get from America to, to, to Dublin. Yeah, yeah. To Ireland. That's true. Yeah. That's true. So there we go, Minnie and Mickey. Safe travels. And, thanks. and happy 100 years, and Minnie and Mickey. Thank you, to Disney, for 100 years of Absolutely, beautiful yeah. storytelling and, and bringing us all, bringing us so make, many beautiful memories, making our lives happy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Now, right behind them, we have the Apache Bells from Tyler, Texas. Now, Tyler these, Junior College in Tyler, Texas. I am excited to see these ladies. Yes, they're oh known my. for their high kicks. They're they're, they're high kicks, and there's That's the great, River Liffey. River Liffey and the lamps. Those lamps are very uh, much, very much. We have an area double called Five Lamps. There's another one of those things with five lamps. Oh my God! Here we go, girls. They'll be frozen. No, they're they're going to do their high kicks and keep warm. And yeah. behind them. Yeah, I see that. We see that Purdue University yeah. All American Marching Band with yeah. their big bass drum right behind them. That sticks out. Now the girls, the Apache Bells, they, they're going since 1947. Yeah. Not the same girls now. But, <laughs> but, um, well, dancing the, keeps you young, Francis, oh, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what we, now, uh, we have a thing called Chernanog, the country oh, of yeah, young. Yeah. Okay, but now, uh, we've been pushing it a bit now. We think they're going since 1947, the girls. <laughs> but look at them. They're in the lovely uniforms and they're all set out. Yeah. Now let's see if they can do their famous high kick for us now that we're... Right. I said that we'd like to do the high kick to stay warm. Now girls, come on. Give us the kick. <laughs> And for those of you joining us, we are here at the Dublin St. Patrick's Day Parade. I'm Michaela Malazzi, and this is Francis, Francis Brennan. Brennan. And we're thrilled to have you with we us. We are so thrilled. Welcome. Falcha. 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 That's it. I'm exactly. trying to learn my oh, Irish. You're, you're brushing up, great. Oh, okay. You're coming up, There great. we go. Yeah. We might, by the end of the parade, we might have you, we'll give you half a degree or something. I know how to say Gramahagut. Gramahagut. Right? Oh, yeah, that means thank, you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Well, we so have now, the girls behind us yeah, walking that's the through. Apache Bells. Now, and there we have we the big the bass drum from Purdue University. University. Okay, marching band since 1886. Wow. They're on the go along. Not, no, they're not marching all that time, all right, but that's where they started. Okay? Yeah. And there's uh, 389 members in the group. And they had to get a special trolley made for this. Do you see it? Yeah. I think some company in in, uh, per, in Purdue. Where's per, uh, Indiana? Indiana. Uh, West Sp Lafayette. Yeah. Mm -hmm. West, um, they had to call it, they sponsored it for them. Yeah. Yeah. So it's and it's a big bass drum, one of the biggest in the world, I think. It is. And, and now, what I love about Purdue, you know, all these marching bands started as military bar marching bands, and Purdue is a, a, a university of firsts. Right. And it's sort of the rebel that started um, 
where marching bands would go into formation of letters for the big P. Yes. <coughs> Excuse me. So uh, Purdue was one of the first bands to ever do that, and now bands all over the world do the Dude. same thing, but right. they spell out. But they were the very first. So, right. And, you know, they kind of pushed the boundaries, having yeah. that giant bass drum. Yeah. So let's give a listen to this band. They look fantastic yeah. no, they and beautiful are. in their garb. Yeah, they are great. And you know, there's you're, there's seven people specifically picked out. Yeah. For the Ooh, big, let's see this. Big drum. Yeah, let's see this. I love this. Let's hear a little bit of these bands. Oh, that's fantastic. Gorgeous. Mass ah, price. look at that shine. Yes. Woo! Oh, they gave us the... This is when I wish I could jump off of this. No, stay put now. Don't leave me on my own. <laughs> stay there. She's raring to go here, but I'm not letting her go. Look at all the different movement. Love it. And they have all the shamrocks up for us and all. Aren't they great? They're in spirit. They're, look, Again, they're competing. The yeah, they are competing. So this is the highest energy we've seen so far from the bands. Yeah. I love it. There you go now. Listen to that music now. Yes! I love it. Amazing. Three hundred and eighty nine members. Wow. Color guard behind them. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. Congratulations. That was wonderful. Now I think these are the true Irish Federation. I think that's still P. Yeah, it's still, still, oh, no, still Purdue. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> Here we go. Here are the twirlers. We have the uh, Twirl Ireland Federation. They are celebrating 50 years this yes. year of baton twirling and majorettes and in there's Ireland. A hundred of them in this troop. Yeah. All right. And they, were, they got national champion status to represent them internationally. So they, they're, they're represented internationally now as well. And they come from all over Ireland. And here yeah. we have the pride of Owasso High School Band from Owasso, Oklahoma. 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 This is their third time performing in the uh, Dublin St. Patrick's Day Parade. Right. And in 2014, the Pride of Owasso was named Best Overall Band I saw in St. That. Patrick's yeah. Day. So, so we should be expecting a great show from them as well. Now they'll be out to win again. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. I would hope so. Yeah, that's the third time here, isn't it? Let's take yeah. a listen. They look very, very oh, serious. they have their flags I going great. Look at that now. Lovely. Look at those black and red and tie, yellow. Tie yellow ribbon flags. Yeah. <laughs> see if we can hear them. Oklahoma. Is that where um, Dolly Parton is from? No. She's from Tennessee. Oh, Tennessee. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's, it's down there somewhere, isn't it? No, that's yeah. a little further away. Oh, is it? <laughs> God, my job. Those tuning in from America, <laughs> Oklahoma and Tennessee are not close. Yeah. My job that's okay. teacher, My geography teacher would be a little disappointed yeah. in me, all right? Let's take a listen to these yeah. ones. It's wonderful. <laughs> it's okay, Francis. I don't know all the counties in Ireland, so no, we're you can't hold, fine. hold me to that. Yeah. But they're lovely. Yeah, fine. Uh, what are, let's see now what um, are they going to give us some sort of a shindig? Let's shit, listen. Shit yeah, let's listen to what for past winners, right? Yeah. Oh my God, the currents must be frozen. <laughs> that the rain is holding off. Here we go now. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun. I can tell you, they're very disciplined. Very disciplined. All in synchronization. Beautiful. Young kids, look at that. Yeah. Oh. 
but I love too when, when they're out on parade and they're they're performing. Everything is shined. Oh, shined, I know. Shined. Yeah, absolutely beyond rubbed off the earth. And they were the, they've done the Macy's parade in New York too, yeah. Thanksgiving parade. Yeah. Over the years, yeah. A lot of these bands have performed internationally and nationally across the U.S. I should have got the haircut before they came. <laughs> it's keeping him warm, friends. Good lad. Keeping he's, him warm. He's staying in time anyway. Oh, they sound great. Now they sound more of a, a traditional marching band, military style. The one we saw before yeah, well, it was more yeah, all American swingy. was yeah, swingy, so swingy. much energy. Yeah, yeah. So much energy. Two yeah. very different styles. Well that's styles. what I always remember from the when I was we used to come through the energy of the American bands. Yeah. Yeah. Now, not as many as them were there in those days when I was a young fella here. And they're just passing behind us and it is just lovely. I love it. It is just lovely to be here with you, Francis. Good. Oh my God. First time, isn't it? Just First time for St. Patrick's Day yeah. Parade here in Dublin. Good. And for those of you tuning in live, we are here in Dublin, Ireland at the St. Patrick's Day Parade. I'm Michaela Malazzi. I'm here with Francis Brennan. We are just delighted to be with you and we're, we're so glad you're joining us. Yeah. And right? it's not at all cold. <laughs> well, we're dancing up here. I don't know about you, but we're, we're, we're keeping warm. We have our feet off the ground. We Once do. you have your feet off the ground, it's a great help. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. And we have our jackets on. And the poor bands are moving along. Some of them are some of them are not as well dressed as others in the band, God help. But, but I suppose they're doing the the flags. I'm sure they have a lot of undergarments yeah, on. Yeah. Right? Now, where are we going to next? Well, I need your help because it's another Irish word. Right. Francis. Uh boy bull. Wait, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna butcher the name. What, what is this? Boy bull. Boy boy bolig. Guia bolig. Boy bolig. Boy bolig. Boy bolig. What does boy bolig mean? Boy is nice. Nice. Bolig and then bolig is the wind. Nice wind. Nice wind yeah and it's what you call it it's um supported by kia ireland yes okay now this is interesting because um, it's a big it's a big production coming through okay and it's going to be in three different areas a future with creativity mm -hmm. it's going to be a future with nature right and then a future with the oceans here we go very yeah. futuristic Ooh, look at these dancers i love that yeah it's very creative now this. and it's called the title of this piece is the a future that moves us now right? it's an equilibrium between between nature and yes. humans. And this QR code for all of you tuning in live, you can scan this QR code with your phone. There's I, some surprises. You might win a car or something. I, I don't know, no. but there are some surprises. So if you can, scan this QR code. Coach, when it's full on your screen. Yep. Okay. There you go. Scan that QR code and yep. there's some surprises that you will find. And this is very much a futuristic, here we go, scan yep. that QR code and see the bee in the middle of the QR Yeah, yeah, the bees. Of course, the bees are very important in yep. life for the pollen and all yep. of that across yep. generation on plants and everything. Okay, we need all that, and this is um, this is a technology meeting the parade right. basically. All right. right, this is the first time that the St. Patrick's Day Parade here in Dublin has used this piece of technology, right? And it is huge, it's massive, and everyone here live in Dublin can also scan the QR code, yeah. and see. And it is right behind us coming up, yeah. Uh, massive, massive. So yeah. then and we then, have a future with nature, yes. Here, right? we, here we are now. These oh, this is all the, wow. green, the greenery coming through, yeah. And, New life, yeah. the little ones on top, they're okay. And uh, see, they're look, the look at that. Growth, the yeah. growth, yeah. growth, yeah. Green. Oh, very sweet. And the augmented reality, that's the important the thing here that has been, it's new. Now, then we come to this is a replica of this. Um, Statue of Daniel O'Connell in O'Connell right, right Street. Behind us, yeah, right. right. Behind the real, the real statue is here behind us. Uh, on your left, there, you can see actually there's people on the statue. Right, right. You see it? Look, there it perfect. Is. Very good shot, cameraman. Very good shot. <laughs> yeah, and he, he he's yeah, they have replicated that there. So, and this part is a future with oceans. I think that's coming up after yeah. the green of the future with nature. Daniel O'Connell, just to give people an idea, yeah, was, was a, a member of Parliament from Kerry, my own uh, bailiwick, okay, and he was uh, in London, in the part of London, fought for uh, freedom of Ireland for very, for very times and is recognised. There he is there, uh, the real statue behind. Love that. Yeah, and this is the replica of it here. Yeah. So that's and, good. And, See O'Connell, look and there. And Ireland owes a lot to that man. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And it's, if you're coming to Kerry, his his home his home is in Cacher Daniel, and um, his house, and it's it's been restored by the Office of Public Works here in Ireland, which is the National Park Service right. in the states, right, right. and it's well well worth a visit. You can spend two hours in there, very happy. Now, right behind him, we have the future with oceans. This is going to be the third part coming up. 
And here we are. Now, uh, yeah. these these are called techno sharks, right? They're sharks that are sort of future. Everything is very futuristic. And yes. They are inspired by the robotic waste sharks that actually clean up plastics from our oceans. Yes. And Kia, which is the sponsor of this whole presentation right here is partnered up they partnered up with the ocean cleanup program that develops the scales technologies to rid the world's oceans of plastic, plastic. so we're so grateful we're, we're for the ocean up. cleanup project yeah, absolutely and yeah. what's fantastic about kia is they have made a commitment to have 20 percent of all vehicle plastic requirement sourced from recycled ocean plastic by 2030. By that point, is only sir? in seven years isn't that fantastic that is wonderful we need yeah. that we need yeah. that that initiative from all of the the car manufacturers yeah. well, generally when one does one, the others follow. They, follow. they are very, the Kia have stepped forward very fast. Yeah. Are, are making, uh, they have, what do you call it, they have um, made, made the commitment, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's, here, the, there's our future. They're the ocean now. Yeah. yeah. And our shark right there. He's our yeah. tech, techno shark. I think it's yeah. a DJ in there. I can see him in there. <laughs> I can see him doing his, DJ doing his thing. DJ shark. I love yeah. it. And junk shark. See that? Yeah. Yeah. That's fantastic. That's brilliant. Yeah. yeah. I love that DJ in his mouth. That's, that is great. Yeah. Great, great. And what, if, again, the theme of today's parade is we are one, we are one community, we are one planet. That is really a focus on the sustainability. And, you know, you work in tourism, Francis, yes, absolutely. and sustainability is a huge part huge of Ireland's part. Absolutely. tourism yeah. arm. Yeah. You know? well, we're getting there, you know, we're moving along all the time. Not hugely steps, but we're getting there. I think, I think, you know, for people in America who want to come visit a country and a place that really sustainability is at the forefront, yeah. Ireland is a, is a no. beautiful place yeah. and they really do a great job. Yeah. It's it's very clean when you're visiting the countryside. We're, we're improving yearly. Yes. You know what I mean? That's the one yes. thing. Yes. Um, I was about to say, and you know, at the, any excess funds when the, 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 when the group make commercial money, they put it back to uh, for, to fund youth services. Yeah. So it's yeah. very. So even that. Oh, now we can hear that shark techno shark. I don't know. So next we have the Burlington Teen Tour Band, yes. and they're from Ontario, Canada. All and the, the director is Rob Bennett and Francis Smith, the two directors. Very good. Yeah. Um, and this past year, they just celebrated their 75th anniversary. Yeah, so they, congratulations they to were them. Here, I see they were here in 88 and 2013 as yes, well. Yes. So yes. that's good, okay? So and welcome uh, back, Burlington Team Tour Band. And anyone watching in that has any connection in Sligo, they're playing in Sligo on Saturday, which we, you should really look out for. That would be fantastic. And then on, in, on the... the, the they're going to Limerick then for the competition for the as well. Competition. So look out for them. They're not they're not finished in Ireland on the streets yet. No, no, they're not. And they have um, 115 members, I believe. And let's see if maybe once they pass by, we can take a listen to this group. Again, very serious, very regimented. And again, they are being judged, right? They, there is a competition. We have look, four adjudicators. They're very much in line there. They're going to get bonus points for that. Yeah. And you know, very quickly, just to give a background on all these adjudicators, the four adjudicators, we have people that um, Dr. Joseph Ryan, he's a founding chairman of the Forum of Music yeah, in I, Ireland. Yeah, I, saw, I met him this morning. Yeah, yeah. and then there's Dr. Alex Trevino, director of athletic bands and associate directors at Old Dominion University in Norfolk, uh, Virginia. Right. We have Professor Keith Bearden, professor at Texas State University in Lubbock, Texas. Yes. And he was actually named uh, Texas Bandmaster of the Year all in right. 2021. And, and, our and last they're serious about their bands Very serious. And Lauren Patritz Watts, she's director of music for the band of the Welsh Guards. Let's take a listen because they yes. just sound fabulous. There's that Canadian maple leaf. Now, these are the Irish ferries. Dance troupe coming through now. Yeah. Irish ferries are the ferries that go between Ireland and France and Ireland and England. Boats, Boats ferries. Boats, yeah, yes. ferries. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So they bring a lot of people in on tourism. And they have uh, three dancers here with two breakers. Two, two break dancers, yeah. Break dancers. And the flag, flag waving dancers from Collide Dance uh, Academy right here in Dublin. Now, there's one thing about those girls they're all warm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're not going to be cold. No, they are definitely warm. Yeah. Oh, look at that smile. Yeah. Look at the little one. The size for it. Great job, girls. Very good. Very good. Now, yeah. on they go. Serious out. Look. With yeah, their nice. Catching their breath. Catching their breath, Francis. Yeah. 
And coming up next, we have Shamrock. Yeah, yeah. now, so what is, Shamrock is a, is yeah, a, this, is a, this is a spoof band, right, I think? This, yeah. It's coming up after the girls, after the, the Irish Fairies dance troupe yeah. from here in Dublin. Yeah. Thank you, ladies. On your way, the music passing through there yeah. on, our, on our right. So here we have coming listed as coming next is Shamrock. Now Shamrock, it's a a, a Bridie O'Reilly dish of the family together. She says, "All right, okay." Right, right. And it's a spoof Irish rock band. So we'll see now what they're going to present for us. Yeah. It's um, now while we wait for them to approach. You know, today is a beautiful day. Yes. We, got, we did get lucky we because lucky. it was raining a little bit this morning. No. Every time I come to Ireland, you never know what weather you're going to get. Whether no. It's winter. It runs spring, through very quick. Summer. Yeah, yeah, it goes. It can go through very quick. And everyone looks happy. But listen, everyone's happy because it's not. You know, it's dry. Once it's dry, it's yeah. fantastic. Yeah. And yeah. he has Drina on his hat. That's um, Drina is a big uh, creamery down in Cork. Okay. So obviously, he must be in the farming community, perhaps yeah. that now. Yeah. Um. So they would be. Uh, they're they're the big. Now here we're on the move again. Now, Michaela, look here. Yeah. We have. Um, There's the Shamrock, Shamrock, Shamrock coming. I think. Yeah. I love that play on words, Shamrock. So, tell us. Let's figure out what the story is. What's the story of Shamrock? Well, it's a it's a, it's, a, it's a conceived story, right? Of course. Yeah. Well, it's, it's a play on Shamrock, which is <laughs> the Patrick's Day of the this Shamrock, Shamrock right yeah, here, yeah, right here. Piece. You know, and right. that, that Shamrock just tell you, like the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost was what that was described just by uh, Saint, Pat, uh, right. Saint Patrick all those years back. Oh, you know, Saint Patrick's but not you, a saint. Do you know that he's not a saint? Not technically. No, he wasn't canonized. He was, no, right? exactly. Yeah. He's he was before all the, those people got their right. title, but we still call him a saint. Yeah, of course. Um, and when he came here, he was trying to explain Christianity, and that's what he took the shamrock for. I did say that earlier on. Yeah. Well, but, uh, you know, in America, we we say the four-leaf clover is lucky if you yeah. can find a four-leaf clover. Do yeah. you have that tradition here? No, not, no. The four-leaf clover is American, I think. All right. Um, we well, did. a lot of traditions have no, been yeah. brought, sort of brought, taken brought on. Out brought yeah. Back, yeah. Because let's, you know, the, the I, St. Patrick's Day was not as big of a, a tradition or excuse me, as a celebration that it is here until the Irish went to America and yeah. really to promote. But well, the first parade, uh, one of the first parades was, was in, it? in Chicago, wasn't it? Yeah. Chicago and Boston. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. here yeah. we go. Here's Shamrock. Now, this is a, now there's Granny. Look, there she is. Where's Granny? Here oh, the there's Granny. There. Yeah, all right. So Granny, this is Granny Britty O'Reilly. Yes. She's the 92-year-old Granny from Ballyhooley. Yeah. Who is now officially Ireland's oldest glam rocker? Yeah. Now she's she's gone out of sight, I'm afraid. Yeah. The, the, we now have a. Um, I think we have the All Mountain West Conference. We band, have, and this is their color guard. Yes. They're they're through here now. Yeah. And so they are. Um, the director is Steve McKeithen. Um, and they are comprised of over 300 performers. Francis. 300. Yeah, from over 10 from 10 combined universities from the Mountain West Football Conference. Oh yeah, they're combined. Yeah. That's, that's, I thought that was pretty, again with the one. The, yes, the team. When, one, I, when I read that, wonderful. I thought it was great. Yeah, and, and we, have, the performers are from the great states of California, Colorado, Nevada, Idaho, Utah, and Wyoming. All right, all right. So this is really... I'll have a, to go a, back a, to that geography class now because I'm, I'm completely lost. A large swath, sw yeah. excuse me, a large Sweet. swath of the, yeah. of the, of the American of the West, and it is just beautiful. And so we're so happy to have them here. Yeah. Um, and this is their first time at the Dublin I saw Parade, that. so That's, welcome. Isn't that great for them? Falcha, yeah. Falcha. Yeah. There you see Felcher Ireland in the background. Felcher, welcome. Felcher Ireland. Uh, yeah. To All Mountain West Conference Band. Here so we go. Let's take a listen. Okay. Yeah. And they did the flags in green for us. Deaf Rooster girl they are, I think, which is nice. They make a right sound. Love it. And they have their different uniforms because they're yeah, different bands. Different schools. Yeah, different, different schools. schools. Yeah. It adds a lot of color to it. And I love the cowboy hats. <laughs> On the Catch side. his breath. On Catch the side. his breath. Oh. Oh, yes. oh, yes. I tell you, I'm not just playing music. They don't even laugh at themselves. I love it. Let's see. Yeah. Come on, do it again, boys. 
drop your knees. Now they're very well um, disciplined. Look, we'll be giving them bonus points now. Yeah, I like it. You can tell they have a lot of fun together. Yeah. Oh, here we oh, go. Now, break dancers. Here we so go. So we have the France Ireland Breaking Project. Yes. Now, what's amazing is uh, the French Embassy is proud to take part in the St. Patrick's Festival to highlight breaking and break dance as a new Olympic discipline. Can you imagine? It's being added to I the read Olympics. That. I read that twice. And that's fantastic. <laughs> I was very surprised. In Paris, in 2024, break dancing and breaking will be a new discipline added. Yeah. That's huge. And the French national breaking team, there's Vigo Marlene Spa and B-Boy Amadou. Yes. Yeah, All right. So you're great in the front seat. I Thanks hope I'm saying that right. Italian. I hope I'm saying yeah, that Italian right. Loved. <laughs> and it's, these are B girls and B boys, breaking girls and breaking girls from France and Ireland that come together right here. Now yeah. we have Marist High School marching bands from Chicago, Illinois, Chi Town. And guess what? I'm a Marist boy. Are you really? I was in school with the Marist fathers here in Dublin, up wow. on Leeson Street, not a mile from here. Wow. Uh, all my secondary, as you call your college years, right? right? And uh, I still, they're all my best friends still. Oh, and when I saw the band coming, I was so delighted. Lovely. Let's take a listen. Very nice. Now, the band has been a staple in Chicago Land community for over it's 50 years. It's their first years. time in And it is their first time here, so welcome to Marist High School Marching Band. Oh, let's, let's listen to this. They sound fabulous. They have a good bass. Very good. Oi. There we go. Welcome again to Maris, their first time here in Dublin, Ireland, yeah. marching in the Dublin St. Patrick's Day Parade. And welcome to everyone tuning in live in our live stream. We are here at the St. Patrick's Day Parade in Dublin, Ireland. I'm Michaela Malazzi. And I'm Francis Brennan. And we're here celebrating with all of you. We have over a half a million people here On in the Dublin. Streets. And millions over around the, the world celebrating St. Patrick's Day. We are all a little bit Irish today. I'm a little bit Irish today. I love you that. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank but you she has come 12 times to Ireland. Now, this so we is have my twelfth visit. Twelfth visit. She was telling visit. me. So we, I absolutely love coming here. We have to get, make her an honorary. I love it here. I absolutely love it here um, because of the people, Francis. Right. People like you, you're so warm and welcoming. I've made friends over the years by dancing with people, eating with people, just chatting yeah. a bit at the pub. It's you, it's it's you'll all. You'll never be lonely when you come no, to Ireland. It's all part of being Irish. It is. Yeah. It is. You have the gift of the gap. That's yeah. what you have. Did you kiss the Blarney Stone a couple times? Never. I wouldn't shut up. I did. <laughs> I'm always afraid. Now, we're moving on now. Moving on. Oh, here we go. Now, Tell spree me. from water. Spree. Yeah. I was they, trying to figure out how to do these, these people, the spree group, they yes. were the first people ever to animate a street. Wow. Uh, like properly. All yeah. right. So we have great respect for them. Yeah. So here today, they're doing, it's coming in three parts, I think. All right. It's aliens because what they're, they're yeah. saying is the planet is under new management. <laughs> we, have, we haven't been doing a, a well enough job, which I agree on our own. On yeah. Our planet so the, the the aliens have come back to help us get everything back in order this is the, the idea of yes. this of this okay. piece that they put yeah. together yeah. Um, so we have the arrivals of the aliens yeah. to start and okay. the new galactic governor right is teaming up with friendly humans so we have these yeah. wonderful dancers but this is the idea of under new management that's very cheeky yeah cheek of them <laughs> the cheek of them they're coming down from the down from the heavens to give us a new start well we we need some help yeah this is a good yeah. idea maybe but you know with this inspiration and they're celebrating which is a three meter globe here you can just see it there right and they're what they're doing is they're celebrating that that, that would be the the governor's representative the, the galactic the yes. new galactic governor taking over yeah taking over and yeah there they are oh, here yeah. yes there's that there's the globe going around and around see and then you have the i think that's the, the galactic governor. governor he's arrived he has arrived now if you don't like him just go home <laughs> yeah just put all the work in putting that together look is the fantastic Oh, he's a bit of a cross look on yeah, his face. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's looking at me now. No, he is. Yeah. You better watch out, Francis. Yeah. 
that the hands go. It's very well put together now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they, these groups work on these projects for a year, for the entire yeah. year, right? Yeah, they absolutely. get the theme and yeah. they come up with these ideas and they really come up with creative ways to interpret. You know, to, uh, this year's theme is we are one. We are yeah. one people. We are one planet. Well, I wouldn't like to be one with him now. <laughs> well, that's but, the idea, right? I'll, I'll give him a miss. <laughs> Oh. Yeah. And, and this so is the 25th year that Spree is being part. Oh, here he is. There's the galactic governor right behind us. Oh, I hope, has there, he long, there he goes. Has he a long arm? I hope he doesn't, we'll wave to him. I hope he doesn't reach in. Oh, I hope not. He's, got He's supposed yeah. to be friendly, I think. Is He's he? trying to get the, the help uh, yeah. of other humans. I'd say he'll... I, we'll, we'll make him nice. Yeah. After yeah. time. Yeah. The poor fan in the globe going round and round. He must yeah. be completely dizzy. Now, now we're not... Yeah, next we have the Cathedral Pride of the Irish marching band. They're Pride from, of the Irish. Yeah, they're yeah. actually from Indianapolis, Indiana. Yeah. Welcome, welcome. It's actually yeah. their fourth appearance here at the Dublin yeah. St. Patrick's Day. And you know, I was interested because they played outside the Grand... Uh, the Old Opry. Ah, the yeah. Grand Old Opry. Yeah. They played outside that. Oh, some, wonderful. Some t- special art. Let's take a listen. Let's take a listen. They yeah. sound, they look beautiful. Yeah, these are the real thing now. Look at the little one. She's, she's doing the, what do you call it? She's doing the, the monster. Now, here we go. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, and anyone wanting to get more information on Ireland, okay, Ireland.com will give you plenty of information on all the areas in Ireland. And all the things to do, you can fly into Dublin Airport, Shannon Airport, yep. and what's beautiful is it's all of Ireland, Northern Ireland and Republic of Ireland. Absolutely. And what is it, 32, 30, 32 counties, 32 counties yeah. to visit? Uh, yeah, and you, you want plenty of time because the roads go slow, not you. <laughs> So. And you have to remember, there's more. There's so much more to Ireland than just Dublin. I love Dublin, but once I got out into the countryside, that's where you really see yeah, yeah. the people. We have a lot. We have a lot to offer. In the and countryside. it is getting a little windy today. Yeah. This is where we're really getting a, a taste of Irish, true Irish weather. Yeah. No, but um, 15 ports of entry. Uh, yeah, that's to right. Get, to get flights. Direct flights to Shannon or Dublin. Shannon yeah. or Dublin. Yeah. It's really easy to get to. It's wonderful to get to. And like I said, this is my 12th visit to Ireland. Yeah. And I'm assuming another lifetime of more visits here. Yeah. And you know, behind us, oh my goodness, we're gonna we're gonna be talking about this is the um, I'm gonna mispronounce this one as well. Inish Owen. No, Inish Owen. Inish Owen. Now that is an area of Ireland in Donegal, up the northwest, the Inish Owen Peninsula. Now that is a place I haven't been yet. I, it's on my right. list. Inish yeah. Owen Carnival. This is called Strange Creek Creatures. Yeah, fantastic. which they are very strange and wonderful. Now the, it's inspired by the diversity on planet Earth, the weird and the wonderful, and this is what what we're seeing. These are beautiful. The colors. The size of these things, like, they're massive. Yeah. They are massive. And you know, they have people from Valley Buffet, the, the community school in, in the Inner Shown, and then they have people for uh, Letterkenny. So yeah. the whole of Donegal, they're all towns in Donegal. Yeah. They've all come together to produce this, which is fantastic. They, Again, also, they also have 20 American exchange students. Oh, that's right. You know, that's, yeah. that's wonderful so they got, that they're really they're, they're here at that time. Yeah. 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 But beautiful, great interpretation. Of, of the strange Beautiful. creatures, love that. Um, and again, Donegal, the northernmost part of Ireland, that is a place I, yeah, I, I've heard is just yeah. the, beautiful, the wild and rugged, yeah, right? Yeah, Leverkenny, um, Carndonna, and the initial one for this is, like we said, a Donegal town, Bundorn. And is it, it's part of the Wild Atlantic Way, I believe mean, yes. one of the, the it, routes, it, 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 I've only been to the southwestern yeah. part, but it goes all the way up north. Yeah, now, but they've done a great job. Yeah, next we have the Spruce Creek High School, directed by Lauren and David Martin. Right. Um, um, and it is this school is one of the largest international baccalaureate world schools in the United States. Right. They have a huge uh, music program here. Let's take a listen because these kids are fantastic. They're from Port Orange in Florida, is it? Yeah. See, I'm learning now. There you go. Yeah. You know where Florida is. <laughs> Port Orange. <laughs> Not sure. But anyway, it's a lovely town. <laughs> and the sun shines there a lot. It's very nice. Yeah. Very nice. 
And right. speaking of Florida, we have Sarasota tuning in with us. Oh, yes. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Thank you okay. so much for joining us. Have a good day in Sarasota. Yeah. Hope the sun is shining. <laughs> and, and you know, this, this, the troop, they've, they've traveled around Austria, France, and Germany, so they're well traveled. Very well traveled. And they actually won the grand champion of the St. Patrick's Day Parade in Dublin in 2013. Oh, fantastic. Now, now. up now we see, I'm, I'm going to butcher this name. It's yeah. another Irish name. You tell me. Ishkabel. Ishkabel, the magic yeah. of the Dublin canals. Yeah. So and these are the waterways, the, right? We have two canals. They run through the city, the Grand Canal and the Royal Canal. Right. And in past times, prior to steam that came in, you know, with the modernization of trains and all of that, they, all the transport was done on the canals. Right. And you had to end, uh, what you call boats that go up and down, and they were pulled by horses. Right. Oh, look at this amazing yeah. puppet. Wow. Now, now the canals end in the Liffey, River Liffey, yes, right? They, they, yeah, yeah. They come through. Yeah. And, and the, what do you call it, with the celebration in the Grand Canals. Yeah. yeah. Now this yeah. is a 13 foot tall puppet yeah. and it's uh, again representing the, the Royal and Grand Canals and this this entire interpretation is supported by Waterways Ireland so we're grateful oh, yeah. for and this. The Waterways Ireland are, are, the, are charged with looking after the Waterways of Ireland and they've yeah. done fantastic work because you can get in a boat here or a, a barge here and end up in Limerick or you can go up the Urn up to the north of Ireland. Yeah. Like it's, it's, it's unbelievable the way they've connected all the waterways. Yeah. And they've restored them all. Beautiful. Now we have Sound and Spirit of Columbus Marching Band from Columbus, Indiana. Right. Uh, this is their first trip to Ireland yeah. for Sound and Spirit because it's a combined uh, marching band. So welcome to Sound and Spirit of Columbus Marching Band. We're happy to have you here. And I see they played in the Magic Kingdom, so they might have known Mickey and they Minnie earlier. They might know Mickey and Minnie. Yeah, or they were here earlier. Yeah, let's take a listen. Well, they have nice... Uh, they have the Irish flag on their hats. Look, isn't that lovely? I mean, the detail that they go into for this is fantastic. Yeah. Oi, yay, 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 yay. Now, we have Dublin, LGBTQ+, and Pride. Yes. And their theme is One Community, Many Voices. Well, of course, that's very much in keeping with what uh, the theme is. One, one, one. Right. We are one. We are yeah. Berlin, and we are one human yeah. community. But now, Ireland is very foresighted. We, we, homosexuality was uh, decriminalized. And, uh, you know, we have a very open society. Yeah. Yeah. Which yeah. is for for a small country, we have a very open approach. To, yes, to yes. And this year is celebrating a few a few big uh, celebrations and markings and milestones. We have the uh, 50 years since the first LGBTQ plus yeah. group in Dublin was established at Trinity College. Yes. And you know, the pink triangle, which we, is, is a symbol of LGBTQ community for many years. It originally was not a symbol, but they made it into a symbol. Well, it was it was a derogatory symbol yeah, that they've, I mean. they've taken on. Yeah, you know? so it's, it's gone. Yeah. And and then this year also actually marks Look, 40 jump. years since the first Dublin Pride Parade. So it's a big year yeah. for the Pride, for the LGBTQ plus community. YMCA, we see them dancing. Now they're bringing it back because the, the gay community, LGBTQ plus community, uh, is big in the club scene and they really yeah, that's right. taken that that's back, right? right? So what's called is Joseph and his technical dream code. Oh, he'll, be right. very, he'll be very obsessed. Yeah. <laughs> because they've all they have all the colors in No, that. but it, you know, the club scene is where uh, the LGBTQ plus community grew and, and it was a safe, safe yeah. space. But they were with their own at that time, you know. But was, also But you nowadays know, it's more open. Right, so. but reclaiming that space. Right. Yeah. I think we got that YMCA playing in the background for yeah, them. That's definitely, yeah. Yep. Um, they don't, but oh, we look, are so good. The color is beautiful. Yeah. The man's home is gorgeous. Yeah. And, and there's a colorful communities around the world uh, because one planet, one love, right? Absolutely. And one history, we're saying. Yeah. Here we go. Now, here's the triangle that I've spoken about. Oh, yeah. YMCA. I can't do it. I'm yes, you can. Up. Come on. Oh. Francis, come you on. You have to be at a Here we go. No one. Wow. Dance when Mark's here to get a that dance. Keeps warm. That keeps Come warm. On. Yeah. I feel much better. I think we should go clubbing with them tonight. Right? Oh, they're always they're always in great music. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look, that's a gorgeous flow coming up right behind yeah. us. Okay, stay. Oh yeah, yes. no, great. Now, here we go. 
Fort Mill High School I'm ready, bash. I'm ready, I'm ready. Hey! Yes! Love it. Hey! Oh, here we go. There's always a party when you got that DJ and that energy. Now, well, back to the work. Back okay. to the work, though. I know. we got to get back. So we're at Port, Port Mill High School. Port Mill High School. Yeah. There's a... Uh, Director Red Patel. There's 175 of them. Wow. And it was established in 1949. It's won over 24 South Carolina marching band state championships in three different classifications. And it won 24 South Carolina championships in three different classes. You just said that. You just said that. <laughs> Which I couldn't hear with the fellas. <laughs> that, that the YMCA is still it's ringing still in the ears. In our ears. Yeah. No, but um, they come from Fort Mill, South Carolina. Right. And they um, were proud to present South Carolina in the U.S. in 2013. They were here, so this is not their first no. time. Being oh, oh, poor girl. God, she can't see where she's going. Oh, okay. She's, she there, get, she's she getting kept on going. with her. Hey. She's going. Yes, girl. You got it. She wasn't going to get called Good out. Good for her. Good on her. Now, now let's take a listen. This, these guys are great. Oh, I'm hearing a little just, bit of YMCA and the marching band. They're never going away. <laughs> We're still doing YMCA. Where's the YMCA? Oh, here we go. The Terra Dance Company. Ta excuse yes. me, Terra Dance Academy. They're from all around. Uh, There's 40 of them in this troop, all yeah. right? And they're um, they're an Irish dance academy, and they're uh, they've got schools in Dublin, Meath, and Kildare. Yeah, they're an, an amalgamation. And yeah, they're going to. I, I hope they're going to do something for us. Stand. They probably did some dancing at the I'm sure viewing stand. The, the temperatures dropped a little bit, Francis. Yeah. And they need to get going again. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, your man's getting excited. Here nope. we go. Here we go. Well, we have the Furman University Paladin Regiment. They're from South Carolina as well. Directors are Sue Samuels, Jay Baluk, and Omar Karamenates. And there's 108 of them, and they're all raring to go now. Yeah, yeah. And they have the blue and white colours that be very popular in Dublin. That's the football, Irish Dublin football team colour. Oh, blue is and it? White. Yeah. yeah. So they'll go down. Yeah. Now, they're the oldest marching band in South Carolina, and this is their first time here in yeah. Dublin at the St. Patrick's How did that happen? Welcome. They didn't come before. I don't know. Welcome, welcome to Furman University Paladin Regiment. We're so happy to have you join us. And we're so happy to have everybody join us. Us tuning in live. We're here at the St. Patrick's Day Parade live from Dublin, Ireland. I'm Michaela Malazzi and this... And I'm Francis Brennan. Yes. And you're all welcome. You're all very, very welcome. And if you are thinking of coming to Ireland, travel here is so easy. Absolutely. Especially and plenty of information on Ireland.com. Ireland.com. Absolutely. And, and there's more to Ireland than just Dublin. Oh. I love Dublin, but yeah. there's so much more of the country to see. It's Absolutely. a small place. Don't, get, don't tie yourself down to days. Come for a week. Or more. Yeah. One more. Yeah. I, I love. I, I just love it here. Yeah. I can't. I can't. Yeah. Ooze enough about how much I love this place. It's just so beautiful. So now that's the Furman University gone through. Yeah. Now we hear their band. Let's see if we can. Let's let. Let's see if we can just take a listen a little bit. Yeah, they're just coming around the corner there now. We have a bit of a break now. I see. I love the drum bass. Yeah, me too. Beautiful. Purple, purple, white, and black. The royal color. Purple. Yeah. Now, do you play any instruments yourself? I do, or I did. Yes, I play piano, oh, yeah. violin, and flute. Oh, for God's sake. Yeah. <laughs> I play nothing. <laughs> You play you play the role of being the one who oh, yeah. is going to show up. I love music, all types of music. I love it. Yeah. But I don't say anything, unfortunately. That's okay, you know? as long as you appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, no, I, very much. Yeah. 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 At, yeah. at all different levels. Yeah. 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 Well, this is just a lovely day. Again, we're getting all four seasons today, I think, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Well, we didn't and that's typical. We well, no rain. No. Well, we got rain this morning. Luckily, yeah. it rained a little earlier than expected, which was fabulous. Yes. Because then the streets are, are clear. Yeah. The I dancers aren't stuck in the rain. Yeah. But and that's another thing when you come to Ireland and it, you see the weather forecast and it calls for rain, don't yeah. panic. No, because it usually lasts minutes. Minutes and then it disappears. It might be cloudy or overcast. But and that's you know, fine. it can rain any day of the year. Oh much. my gosh! Yeah. Yes, like it's not, we don't have a rainy season. No, like that. No, 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 and it's perfect. It, it's a wonderful way to just just. But get it, over it means here. we have very fresh air and you know yes. and the country. That's why we're so green. Green, yeah. so Absolutely. green and lush. Yeah. And this is why the Irish cheeses and butter and creams oh, are so good. Yeah. You 
have grass fridge. Yes, yeah. and from Cary, you have the Atlantic Ocean, the salt yeah. washing yeah. onto Absolutely. the grass. Yeah. No, it's fantastic. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's and lovely. The, the Kerry Gold Butter, you can't yeah, beat it. You, you cannot know. beat that. No, but you can actually, no, nowadays you can get it nearly all over the world. We get it in America. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's fantastic yeah. for that purpose. Yeah. 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 That's, 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 I, I, if I want a little taste of Ireland, I go to the grocery store and get Kerry Gold. Yeah. Now we're drawing to a close we on, are. On, on the parade. We only have a few more uh, things to do. There's no, oh, look, look at that. He's on the, what do you call it? Or she, is it a here chair? Not sure. Is it here? Uh, they're on the, the Daniel O'Connell um, uh, statue. That's yeah. what they're sitting up there. There oh, we go. There we go. Now. This is wonderful. wonderful. See yeah. the theme of one, one community, one world, artistic one planet. It's an artistic presentation. Artastic. As in artastic. fantastic. Artastic. That's it. Um, and this represents all cultures, past, present, and potential future cultures. Yeah. And they found one aspect. They, they came up with this idea that we share the same sky. I yes. think that's well, beautiful. Everybody does. Yeah, the but world you does. never think about that. No. But that is just such yeah. a beautiful idea. Yeah. Um, and they're, Artastic is a street spectacle company based in Kildare. Yes. Uh, under the artistic direction of Vijaya Bateson and Katrina McGowan. Yes. So we're grateful for their work. So we have the earth symbolized by the globe, yep. big globe. And then we have a large sun, which just glances over the world. Yeah. Oh, right. and this we have Venezuelan roots. Now what they're dancing, they're doing the cultural representation of the Venezuelan community in Ireland. This is who they are. Um, and their goal is to share the wonderful traditions, culture, and rhythms of, of their beautiful country of Venezuela. Right. Um, they're performing El Calao Carnival, which oh, yeah. was recognized Thanks by UNESCO. Be. Thanks be to God you came with me today. <laughs> There's I, the, the Venezuelan flag. With that. There's the Venezuelan flag proudly yes. waving in their colors. Yes. Um, now see those um, performers in the back. Now this was recognized by UNESCO as being an intangible cultural heritage of humanity. I saw that. Uh, now this is a unique celebration of old cultural traditions that arrived in Venezuela by the English and French-speaking Caribbean islanders yes. with their African roots around 1850. So this is a so very it's, old tradition. Oh, those poor girls must be freezing. By yeah, the way. they are. Yeah. But see the that that mask that, that the figure in the back this is all um it's uh, very much a carnival carnival from, from yes. rio yeah like, it's well that, south, it's not now south no, america no, no. I know, yeah, but, yeah. but it has that feel about yes, it yes it does yeah. and yeah. that caribbean and their, 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 their uh, costumes are fantastic yeah, wonderful so this is venezuelan roots they are based here uh and representing them the and they, and in and and they keep the, the ancient traditions alive yeah, yeah which is great isn't it? it's beautiful yeah my, my, my niece is traveling in uh, venezuela at the moment oh fantastic so if she's watching i just said putting watch out now these are oh, they're, they're born here this is this is that tradition you can see the head wrap from the French and, um, and the colors, English speaking. Like you see the Caribbean colors, you yep, see the French, you red, red, white, and blue. There you, know? you go. Yeah. So it's very much beautiful. And here is. And you have that melting pot, especially the Caribbean. The Caribbean, there was that melting pot of, of traditions and cultures. And we have the look, the the big mask coming now. I see. But he wore his warm hat. Now was yeah. he? The, and his, I think this is back to Artastic, the wonderful yeah. world. His mother sent him out with a, a hat on him. She's <laughs> wearing that. He'd be frozen. Oh, he's a flyer. Yeah, he's, he's a flyer. flying. Yeah, he's flying. <laughs> he picked the right costume he did, today, he did. Michaela. Yeah. Now, she, now this is the beautiful Before. masks, yes. you see? And, yes. have, and you know, isn't it interesting? Because they're the sort of masks that we have in Venice. In Venice, and yeah. And we won, you know, all over the world, yeah. you know? Yeah, beautiful, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful, isn't that gorgeous? Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And here comes the, the younger oh, ones. Kids. Look. Love that. Beautiful. that. And, the, and there's the orbital world again. The, the idea the that we're one one yeah. sky. We yeah. all look under out of into one sky. The sun yeah. and the moon and the stars. We're all looking at the same. And it's such and a simple idea. We're in orbit. But very powerful. We're, we're in orbit here. Look, yep. you see yep. that brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Very powerful though. Yeah. Oh, we can hear that music now. Beautiful, gorgeous. Look at the work that went yeah. into it. And the stars looking down. Oh. Oh, here's this is a. Um, I think it's Fidget Feet, is it? Yeah, they're up and he is going to be doing aerial. There oh, they look. are. Wow. That's up at Christchurch now. That's actually not in the parade. Yeah. But it's fantastic. There's our there's shark our that we had earlier. There's our shark. Oh, here we go. Fidget Feet. I can tell you. Wow. Very impressive. That was very. Cirque du Soleil, eat your heart yeah. out. <laughs> They're not in the races compared oh, to this. Would you be flipping around? She, like took, a... she took a bit of a turn. Did you see that? 
different. <laughs> That's lovely. Though. It is. Yeah, they, the they, colors are especially they, with, they the, do, with a little bit of overcast today. Those colors are popping right through. They did a great job. Yeah. I hope they have a little heat. There's the oh, sun. Oh the sun, the moon. Oh. Yeah. God Almighty, it's brilliant. Great job. Oh look, the color. Great job. They have a big troop. How many people are involved yeah. in that? I just have no idea. <laughs> An opera. Well, they're, and what's great are these big, big costumes and floats. So it's really taking up that space. It's, it's, Congratulations it's to VJ, Katrina, Aoife, and Kieran. It was fantastic. Wonderful job. Yeah, they were the wonderful artistic job. directors. I can tell you, she needs her lunch when she gets home. <laughs> After pulling the, getting the their sun, workout. They're getting the their workout. Around. They are getting their workout. That's lovely. Yeah. Look at the work in that. Yeah. And, and to paint the eyes and all. Yeah. Yeah. And so many. Uh, look, we have so many people coming. Look at all the nationalities here. Yeah. Now, what's great about uh, the St. Patrick's Day Parade here in Dublin, it's a Jewish parade. Well, we all, yeah, we are only ashes since the 90s. Right. Yeah. And it's because Ireland saw that Americans and then other people from around the world were coming to Ireland to celebrate St. Patrick's well, Day. And well, it became very due to tourism Ireland and Fall Charlotte. Exactly. To, to put the show on the road. Don't yeah. you? Now, here we go. Now we Char have Charlotte Catholic High School. Charlotte Catholic High School from Charlotte, North Carolina. North Kekalaka, anyone out tuning in from North Carolina? I have some family in North Carolina. I love them very much. All right. And it's a beautiful state. You know what? North Carolina reminds me a lot of the, the rolling hills of Ireland. Yeah. Very it's, similar. Well, it's, it's, it's very much a rural. And, yeah. and a lot of Irish immigrated out to Appalachia and, and found their way in North And the Carolina. music, of course, we have great oh, connection with the Appalachian music. Greengrass music yeah. here, bluegrass music yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. So we have director Jacob Bowen. Yeah. Um, now, it's not a big band. No. It's only, it's only uh, 70 people. Yeah. Right. But the band was named Best Overall Band I saw in Dublin that. Yeah. and Best International Parade in Limerick for the St. Patrick's Festival in 2015. So I tell they you, are a winning they band. Be, they must do it right. Yeah, and this is their fifth time here. Right. At the, sub, at the Dublin St. Patrick's Day. They'll so catching, welcome back. They'll be catching up on you. Welcome, with, I know. With the 14 oh times. <laughs> well, 12, you're getting sorry. ahead of me now. I'll use something like that. <laughs> so welcome back to Charlotte Catholic High Great. School. We're now so boys, glad to have you Give back. us a wave, boys. Give us a wave. Yay! Yay! <laughs> now, is this the choir? It this is, is chorus. chorus. Yeah. Now, their, their simple message is that singing together is good for you. So they don't have auditions, they, there's no need to read music, but it's this way of getting together and singing. People who just want to sing any, to any point join, in their life. Join up. It's, it's, it's all over Ireland. And they're having classes. They say they nope. have classes all over Dublin, yeah. all over Ireland. It's wonderful. If you just love to sing or love music and want to Well, you know, a, friend, a, a lad I know runs a, a, a dark disco. What does at, that mean? I went here. It's at six, <laughs> 7 o'clock at night to 9 o'clock at night. Going home from the office, you go in, he gives you headphones, you dance your heart out oh, like in the dark. Oh, like disco. Yeah, yeah. In, but in the dark. Oh, wow. Okay, and you're home for the nine o'clock news, he says, on there the you television. Go. But it's great because people like to dance, and they might like to dance in public, and right. they can go there, and it, I believe it's a great success. Of course. Now, come on, sing up, girls. Yeah, that's it. She's singing away. And again, it's singing together is good for you. That's a great, I love that model, that, that, that mission. Yeah. Look at there's happy. Yeah. Men. Now, chorus. What is the co? Cor chorus is is a, is a chorus is a shout out. You know, kind of a. But in Irish. It's an a, Irish word. Yeah, it's an Irish word. You know, it's, it's, it means like the chorus, like a, a loud exclamation. Oh, okay. Like yeah. Okay. So play on words. For yeah, this. play yeah. on words. Yeah. 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 Look, uh, look girls, sing up, girls. We can't hear you up here. <laughs> Well, I'm sure the crowd can hear them. They look like they're having a great time. But isn't that a simple thing for a parade? And they're getting so much fun out of yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. All ages. Yes. Well, it, I, you can see smiles on their faces. So yeah. Singing together, I'm sure, has brought a lot of joy to all of these singers. I hope they have a lot of sounds because we're a bit delayed now for some reason. There's no movement just at the moment, everybody. Oh, that's okay. That I think it's our, our sun and moon. That's it's a delay in the things. Yeah, no, they're, they're performing for the bandstand. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Everyone's singing along. We can't hear the people where we're sitting now. It's okay. We see, how, we see how much they're enjoying themselves. That's what I mean. And that's what the St. Patrick's Day parade is all about. Get out From and enjoy all yourself. over the world. Yes. We know it's a little early. 
in New York, definitely early for California. Yeah. Uh, but there's going to be celebrations all across the United and States. It'll be screen play for so they can watch. Yeah, it. so yeah. you can tune in from wherever you are. You can celebrate St. Patrick's Day 24/7 yeah. for a whole 24 hours the, all I, day I, today. I tell you something, there are people here that will be doing that. Oh, so. I'm sure. <laughs> we should be joining them later, yeah. Francis. Yeah. Why not? It is St. Patrick's Day. And again, we are tuning in live. We're bringing to you live the St. Patrick's Day Parade from here in Dublin, Ireland. I'm Michaela Malazzi. Francis Brennan. Yep. And nice to have you with us. Wonderful to have you with us. And again, if you're interested in coming to Ireland, it is just a lovely place to visit. Um, go to Ireland.com. Ireland.com. And you can find, if you there's something in particular that you want, whether there's it's driving routes, food, accommodation. Yeah, if and, you're into history, if yeah. you're into um, yeah. adventure sports, surfing, if there's anything that you're yeah. looking for. For, it's all available all there, there, and it's all available here. Yeah. It's just a beautiful exactly. place. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful and place. The tourism, Family travel. Yeah, and uh, tourism Ireland are great worldwide, so they're always wonderful. willing to help in any respect. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. So now we're moving on here now, I see. Yeah. So. Now the chorus choir there, they were behind us. I hope they had 20 verses. Have they? Do you think they had 20 verses? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, yeah she's still. Oh. They're, Top of the hands up there, anyway. Yeah. So there's no. Um, now there was Bishop Moore High School. They haven't come yet. Now they're no, down. they're they're. They're coming up the rear here now. Oh right, because we have Charlotte still behind us. Now girls. <laughs> girls I wonder boys. what song they're singing. They look like they're having a great time. Singing classes. Yes. Yeah. Easy singing classes. That's brilliant. Yeah. Can you imagine the fun they have now? When oh, have so seat? fun. Yeah. You have... know what? Next time I come to Ireland, I'll, I'll jump in a jump, class. Jump in the class. Yep. Yeah, they have one. I'm sure I don't know Why not? But they, but they meet regularly, I'm sure. And the fun yeah. would be great. Yeah, yeah. And as they say themselves, it doesn't matter if you can't sing, just come along. Just, yeah. Yeah. It's more for the friendship and you the could, camaraderie. You could turn the page for the fellow doing the piano. Yeah. You know that the person that sits beside Yeah, the page turn the turner. Page. The yeah. page turner. You could do. Let me look for one of those. Yeah. Yeah. Now, on St. Patrick's Day, you know, in America, yes. I, so I went to school in New York. I went to New York University. Right. Proud alum of NYU. Color purple. That was our, All right. our, our um, school colors. St. Patrick's Day was a big day for us as students. As students. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was a big day. It is, it is a big day. Well, if it was a school day, we'd cut class. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and go to the parade and then yeah. you'd make some friends it's, and yeah. you'd be in the pubs for Everybody the is everybody's friend in New York oh, today. It was so yeah. fun. Yeah. It was so fun. We what really had a good time. But again, like in the theme of this year, that in, in the years past that wasn't. But the theme of one, like it is fantastic. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. I wonder what they do with all those uh, blow ups when they're finished with them. Well, over here now, yeah. I think they're going to be recycling them. Yeah. Now we're on the go here. Yeah, here we go. So the next group we're going to see is the Bishop Moore High School Black and, Glo and Gold Brigade. Excuse yeah. me. Uh, they're from Orlando, Florida. I see that. And yep. they're, they're used to the sunshine. They God are. <laughs> and I was thinking when I was looking at it, I see their, their mascot is the Hornet. Oh, oh yeah. He give you a right hand sting and yeah. move you along. Well, we're not seeing them quite yet. No. They're coming through now in a minute. Yes. Yeah. Now, just up the street here, quarter block from us, all right, is um, Kohanur. Kohanur, yeah. which is a, a salon, and we're very grateful to them for letting us uh, use their space as a home base for today. We're keeping warm. Look at that for it. Oh, uh, it's beautiful. So if you want to get your nails done, you want facial. to get threaded, facials, it's a beautiful space right here uh, in the heart of Dublin. And thank, and we want to thank them very much for letting thank us use. Thank you We so also much. robbed their internet, just to tell you, all right? <laughs> So we're, we're borrowing their yeah, internet, no, let's just say. Yeah, no, with the right with things. So anyway, co thanks to them. Thank you. you thanks played, a million, Kohanor. We're you, so, you so grateful. A, you played a big part in it. You thank did. You. you did. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, I hear a drum. I do hear more drums. I think that's still Charlotte. They're still behind us. But, you know, St. Patrick's Day. Oh, here we go. The Black and Gold Brigade. Yeah, excuse me. Bishop Moore High School Black and Gold Brigade from yeah. Orlando, Florida. Yeah. Uh, they performed in the Dublin Parade in 2000. So we're happy to have oh, them yeah. back. back. Thank you yeah, for coming okay. back. And you know, they were great as a band that they raised over fifty thousand dollars to make this trip a possibility. So yeah, they had to all get, these they had to get out there and do their thing. Yeah, all these uh, groups that that you're seeing do fundraising initiatives to get to pay for all of this to come over not just to perform and compete but to also 
yeah. see yeah, the yeah. countryside, see and you know, Dublin. And they earned most of the money selling pizza and poinsettias. There you go. So there now, you, there you go. The now, now the school was founded in 1954, and it was named after Bishop John Moore, who was born in County Westmeath. All oh, right. So a, a close tie to Ireland. I'm so glad to have him here. And the directors are the directors, Mr. James E. Barker. Right. So welcome back. Oh, and they're very up to date with their the, the modern cats. Look at that. Yeah. They have. They don't have to pack all the feathers. God bless the other crowds. <laughs> well, away. you know what? Maybe I'm sure these uh, marching bands have different outfits for you yeah. know. So if they if it's it would cost more, right? If yeah. you have to ship your hat. So. Well, I would. I, said, I mean, all that you know, the the, the, the ostrich feathers or whatever oh, they are, yeah. right? So let's take a listen. We'd love to hear them. Yeah. Here we go. come now now rearing a, in the end the dublin cycle we're coming to the end of the of parade. the saint patrick's day parade here in dublin ireland it is the dublin cycling campaign um, and they're celebrating biodiverse biodiversity in the four important protected habitats oh they're losing their in flowers. ireland they're Ooh. losing their flowers <laughs> so we have coastal that was water and of all the little ones oh Look. we have the grasslands oh here. grasslands right oh wonderful yeah we have forest and woods and we have the bogs and wetlands and so all of these again we are okay. one we are one community we are one planet coming together to support and again sustainability here in ireland is a key to tourism and i think tourism overall we really need to preserve our planet while still being able to see this beautiful Absolutely, place yeah right there's a lovely uh, what you call it um, firefly or something yeah and the little ones oh look at their helmets they remember for life they very were in the parade. sweet very sweet yeah. i think they're puffins aren't those the puffins from puffins, cliffs yeah. of moher yeah uh, right and the skellix and, and carry oh and the skellix and carry excuse more, me more famous for the puffins. oh right 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 now he has so that's uh, the, the bogs right he has his uh, wreath on his head anyway his uh, ivy wreath <laughs> now there you go are, and again this is a, a celebration of biodiversity with the Dublin cycling campaign. There's a great view that's looking up the Liffey now. Um, look at the little fella. Oh, oh, he's all sweet. decked out beautifully. And we're coming to the end of the parade, Francis. We just, just flew by. The time flies through. It just through. flew by. Wow, another great parade from Ireland this year. They never disappoint. But I want to thank all of you for tuning in and watching our broadcast once again for the St. Patrick's Day Parade live from Ireland. I hope all of you get the luck that you deserve and enjoy the rest of your holiday. And we'll see you back here on iHollywood TV next week. But you guys, if you're new here, subscribe so you don't miss out on what's coming up. And we'll definitely be doing this once again next year as we stream the parade from Ireland. Have a great weekend. Take care, everyone, and happy St. Patrick's Day to all of you once again. Bye-bye.